Hello, and welcome to the Pixel Circus. My name is Xander Genere, and we're here to give you a very special sponsored one-shot of the Hit Point Press Field Guide to Floral Dragons. Welcome! <laughs> if you haven't had a chance to check it out already, definitely view their Kickstarter. They have a whole bunch of amazing perks that are up there, including a coloring book, some lapel pins, uh, let's see, they've got they have a dice, puzzle. they have a puzzle, a lot of stuff featuring the Vespin, which we'll meet later on. Um, but yeah, it's 26 floral dragons, uh, pests, pollinators, and fungi, and magic items. So we'll be utilizing a few of them here so you get a chance to see what they look like and what they act like. Uh, and then you can sprinkle them into your own games. But tonight, I'm here with some amazing players that I can't wait to get started with. Uh, let's start over here with Sage. Hello, I am Sage Ryan, and I am going to be playing Amanita. Uh, I use she any pronouns, and Amanita uses she her pronouns. Hello, I'm Kendall Lynn. I'll be playing a wood elf ranger. Her name is Estelle, and we both use she her. Hello, I'm Ayanna Barron. I'm a she her pronouns. I'll be playing Pear Cassia, a human cleric woman who also uses she her pronouns. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Luis Carrazzo, he, him. I am playing a halfling uh, named Anaris, uh, and he's a multi-class fighter ranger. Perfect. Ooh. In this world, there are floral dragons. These are dragons imbued with the essences of flowers. With their abundant blooms and specialized physiology, floral dragons can be beautiful. However, any wise forager or florist knows that some plants can be as deadly as they are gorgeous. Of course, there are some varieties that are elusive and monstrous, but humanoids have developed a relationship with them to live in relative harmony. In your travels, you've heard tales of Mushi Village. It's a coastal town nestled in the valley of the Sapphire Mountain Range. Your travels along well the well-worn path through the mountains, it was relatively uneventful. Each of you have been summoned to Mushi Village at the invitation of the frame, famed potions master, Ricky Huckster. You each received the missive via a tiny dandelion dragon floating on the wind. They are often used to send messages even across plains. He had mentioned in his missive that you had been selected to help him because of your special connection with floral dragons. You've noticed how this particular mountain range must have received its name. The rocks composing the mountains shine in a deep cobalt blue. But as you make your way closer to the village itself, you notice there are persistent blossoms uh, of bright flowers bursting their way out of the rocks, a reminder that life can flourish even under dire circumstances. Rounding the bend past this explosion of flora, we get a good look at what each of you look like as well as your floral dragon companions. Please take a moment to describe your character, their companion, and roll a perception check for me. Oh. Oh. We'll do it one at a time. We'll okay. go ahead and start with Sage. Uh, what do we see? So, uh, Amanita stands at uh, five foot flat. She has long black hair that goes all the way down to her knees and bangs that just pass her eyes a yeah. little bit where you can't imagine how she could possibly see what she's doing. Sure. <laughs> her hair is a little bit scraggly and you see little bits of like vines and leaves like she's just been climbing through some trees. You've been with her for hours. She has not been climbing through trees. Where did these sticks and leaves come from? <laughs> uh, but there's always just little bits in her hair uh, at any given time. She wears like long dark robes that are clearly a little over sized for mm. her and her height that drag on the floor a little bit and surpass her hands in the length on each side of her. And uh, she stands next to a almost like ostrich-like in shape dragon. Uh, she has the lark spur dragon named Spike. Mm. Uh, and Spike is these beautiful shades of dark blue and purple that you can tell she's tried to incorporate into her outfit, uh, which might be also why she had to like kind of work with something that didn't fit her. She was trying to match to Spike. Uh, Do it for Spike, the aesthetic. Exactly. <laughs> Spike is almost the opposite of Amanita in every way in like, they're incredibly elegant and like all of their, uh, the stance and like confidence that Spike stands with really opposes the like slouched over tiny little Amanita next to him. Uh, and these beautiful like dark blue and purple um, kind of like peacock colors across these like large wings uh, up at its back. Um, and she stands kind of holding on to a mount on their back. Mm. 
Are you connected telepathically at the moment? Yes, always. So you've been going for a while, mm -hmm. and you just hear a, a sort of resounding voice in your head only. Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, no, um, well. And she like looks around, seeing clearly the same thing that he is. Well, I don't think so. Perfect. Um, uh, we could walk faster if you want to walk faster. If you or would that be worse? Would that make it feel like it's taking longer? I'm sorry. Never mind. Mm, you speak so quickly. Your <laughs> thoughts are muddled. <laughs> yeah. So if you wanted to get there faster, I'd walk faster with you. <laughs> <laughs> Kendall, who do we see, uh, and what does your companion look like? As well? Hello. Estelle is a wood elf. She is tall for a wood elf, but short for an elf. So what is that, like six feet? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just right it's there. Like, uh, <laughs> tall but short at the same time. Uh, she's a teenager. She's young. She's learning how to live outside her village. And she always has like the most pristine hair up in a bun. It's very tight. Interesting. Mm -hmm, because. Mm -hmm. As a hobby, you'll see later, she needs that hair up and out of her face. Mm. Uh, and she wears like, I would say really foresty greens and reds just to blend in with the woods, the trees, the grass. And yeah. she is spunky, she's fast, and she'll tell you what's on her mind. I'm just saying it right now, she will tell you, yeah. but in a soft voice. Mm. It will hurt you in the core of your heart. <laughs> Gently. Yeah, yeah. But it's so easy to hurt the core of my heart. <laughs> it's the core. Even though you've been traveling for a while, yes. you are not showing any signs of fatigue whatsoever. You have like Absolutely. basically just stepped out of the shower. Because she's learning. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She's learning. She's like, I learned this fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally gifted. Naturally gifted. <laughs> and then who is she with? She's with Basil, an mm -hmm. Emerald dragon, who is long and majestic, green and red, uh, almost invisible with amaranth flowers, mm -hmm. which are like really beautiful, long stemmed. They come in various colors too, like flowers that have like little petals on them. They're like gorgeous. On Basil, what sort of colors do we see? Basil is just like me. We're, we're a pair, we're a pair, uh -huh. green and red. Uh -huh. <laughs> great, great. And yeah, and uh, you have this sort of relationship with Basil too, who doesn't speak necessarily mm -mm. out loud, but you uh, hear some chirping from them in agreement. Like they're pretty happy with what's been happening so far too. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I could take care of her. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mayana, who do we see? So before you see her, you would smell her. Oh wow! Oh. Get our notes of ginger, incense, and saffron. Oh, okay. oh good smells, good smells. Oh. Walking around you. <laughs> As you lay your eyes upon Per Cassia, uh, a human woman in her 30s, six <laughs> feet tall as well, mm -hmm. with olive skin, amber eyes, and deep brown hair. Uh, she's wearing the most elegant outfit you've ever seen, oh, wow. but if you ever complimented her, she would insist yours is nicer. Uh -huh. You can tell, without a shadow of a doubt, she gives the best hugs. Oh, oh I love that. <laughs> yes. I, I will add too, mm -hmm. while it is a very fine outfit, mm -hmm. other people might notice it's a little raggedy. As Correct. If you've been in it for a while. Yeah, perhaps I haven't changed clothes recently. Um, but who, that's, could say? who could say? <laughs> who could say? Um, and I am accompanied by Prickle, yes. a succulent dragon. Amazing. Very stocky, medium build, very spiky with a sort of like red, beautiful kind of like. I don't even know, like just leaves coming out. Lots of spikes, you cannot touch this thing. Right. If you touch it, you need armor. Oh, um, she also looks like you shouldn't touch her. She looks like you should not touch her, but you know what they say about the inside of a cactus? Pretty soft. Aww. <laughs> and she's got like, this beautiful plumage tail, just big spiky gown. Mm-hmm, beautiful. <laughs> and you just see her sort of yeah. <laughs> waddling along. Yeah. This is like temperate for her. Yeah. She's used to like the desert conditions, and so there's water, there's plants, you're fine. Yeah, Prickle, are you comfortable? Mm, yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> it's so good to get out of the desert. I can't wait. Maybe I'll meet someone. Ooh. Not you. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spoken for. Ah, I didn't know that. Oh, well, just someone waiting for me back home. Ah, well, it's been a while since you've been there. Yes, well, 
you know, How are you feeling, by the way? You feeling okay? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm I'm much better. Maybe just a little sick, though. Maybe just maybe perhaps another week of being sick. You need some more spit. Perhaps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Mm-hmm. And there does seem to be some sort of healing properties mm-hmm. to the saliva from the succulent <laughs> dragon. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Louise. Oh, man. Who do we see? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone's been so beautiful and classy so far, and I'm just kind of like, yeah. oh, I'm a crappy little guy. <laughs> I'm a crappy little guy with a dragon that hates me. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> I'm not a crappy little guy. <laughs> I'm elegant in my own way, I swear. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, Inaris is a, is a halfling, a stout halfling. So he's a, a little bit over three feet tall. I think he would be perceived as slightly above average, maybe above average height for a halfling. Right. And he is wearing, so he, he has like sort of an erect posture mm-hmm. and he's wearing chain mail mm-hmm. and mm. he's got a shield. Uh, and so there's something about him that almost feels like he is um, perhaps a sort of like noble guard from uh, where he comes from. Uh, he takes this adventuring uh, uh, kind of seriously. It's, 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 it's definitely important to him. Uh, and he is actually riding on top of his dragon. Yeah. A Dendron dragon, mm-hmm. uh, which has uh, like a mane mm-hmm. of these uh, orange flowers mm-hmm. that, as their petals extend, they become, slowly go from a yellow color at the inside to this bright orange, almost red at the tips. Wow. And they almost flames. look like flames. Yeah. And, it, and, and the uh, Rhodes, uh-huh. the Dendron Dragon, he, it, he has this on top of his head and around his chest like a mane. Mm-hmm. And very much like the same posture that Anaris has, Rhodes is normally kind of erect and proud, but right now he is Sniffing mm. uh, like a curious Labrador. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. The uh, some flowers and plants that are sprouting out of these rocks that you had described earlier. Yes. Because we are in a new terrain. Yes. And this is a new thing for Rhodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my dragon, who's not really ventured outside of where we're from. Great. Uh, so, I, uh, uh, an Aris is on top of Rhodes. Uh, basically telling him, um, okay, boy, that's enough, right? I mean, you, you, you've smelled this already for so long. <laughs> Are you and, speaking out loud? Uh, yes, gently. Uh-huh. And I'm going back from, uh, from from Draconic. I speak Draconic. Yeah. Because I know Rhodes speaks Draconic. Yes. It's common to, uh-huh. you know, just trying to find different ways to coax him into doing what I want him to do, which is... Don't pee on everything. Okay. <laughs> Why are you smelling? It was one time. Uh, yeah, he's sniffing. Oh, 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 oh. I, I think I smell it. You know, I, you've been smelling this for a long time. Yeah, but you gotta smell Every, these flowers. I, 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 we need to catch up to everybody else. They're leaving us. You fell in, falling a bit behind. <laughs> so go ahead and make your perception checks right now. Uh, you can actually add advantage to that because oh, you've got Rose uh, sniffing and searching. Wow. Sure. Uh, and then go ahead and let me know what you get. 19. 19. 20. 20. Oh. Wow. Dirty 20? No. Uh, <laughs> I, I added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the advantage was for me and my dragon. Yeah. <laughs> um, I rolled fives twice. <laughs> so my, oh, percep- my advantage perception show is a total of five. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I got a dirty 20. Sniffing. A dirty Amazing. 20. Okay. So. Uh, Rhodes sort of brings you along. You're basically at the mercy of this dog-like dragon as it, you're mounted on it, and it's like going from flower to flower. It cannot focus. Ooh, 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 smell. Ooh, look at this. No, 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 no. It's all right. Settle down. However, the three of you, uh-huh. uh, your eyes can follow that there is like a hidden path that you see through, and it's very covered up by the foliage. Um, but it seems to culminate further along. You because you scored so high that there is a cave in the mountains that it seems to come to, but that cave is also, you wouldn't see it if you weren't looking for it. It blends in perfectly with the mountains. Mm. Um, But this is like an offshoot path, uh, directly the opposite way of the village. So uh, I'm just saying that you spotted that Mm. uh, and you you continue on to the village, I assume? Mm, Yes. Well, I mean, uh, should we? Should we perhaps? Just a quick detour? Just a little. Maybe just, just for a second. Oh, uh, hang on one second. 
Hey, is it like okay <laughs> if we do a detour? Are you making the journey even longer? Well, uh, what if there's it's a secret shortcut? My little feetsies. Oh, I know, your little feetsies. I'm so sorry. Uh, but what if it's a secret shortcut that gets us there even faster? Okay, this once. <laughs> Are you riding on Spike, or are you? Like, I have been standing next, next to Spike uh, because he's getting annoyed by the mm. long journey. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, <laughs> I look down at my little feetsies. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, uh, and I'll, I'll stay alongside him for now. Yeah, yeah. As you deviate down this secret path, you do run into rough terrain. Oh so it does take you longer to get places mm. because of all the foliage. Mm. It's just tough going, and you can tell that. This is not a, a path that is traversed very often. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, there's a little bit of like a foreboding energy that maybe oh you shouldn't be here. Oh dear. Um, well, um, are there any plants that I could perhaps investigate? Yes, uh, go ahead and roll either investigation or nature, whichever one you would like to use. All right, let's do, I'll do just a regular investigation. That's a 15. A 15, mm -hmm. perfect. Ooh. And uh, you're looking at like the blossoms? Yes, like I'd that? like okay. to take a look at those. Yeah. So what you can tell, you did investigation? Or investigation. So we can tell from an investigation check is that these do seem to be like medicinal plants. Oh. Um, so when you're going through this rough terrain and mm. sort of crushing these blossoms, oh dear. you don't know how much sort of damage you're doing or if yeah. this is like a patch that maybe is sacred in some circles. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> know. Especially as a know. cleric. I was not aware. Um, we good? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> can I do a detect magic? Yes. To try and identify a school of magic here. Yes. Yeah. I on the on the blossoms. I mean, it's the whole radius. Sure. Uh, so I'd like to check out this whole area. Where yeah. I'm looking at the blossoms, but I'm basically just using my ten foot to like yes. scope as mm. much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Forward. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's all good. Is there a role for that, or it just tells you the school? It right just off the bat? does it. Sure. Ooh, love that. Yeah, I'm gonna say just happens. that there, you're getting like the flavor of abjuration magic, as okay. if there's some like shielding happening. Um, it's not really preventing you, but that might be like the source of this. Like this is a protected area. Okay. And is it coming from specifically the flowers? So from it the should flowers. like essentially glow to me if it is magical. Yes. And it is actually. 30 feet okay um, so i will use it continuing ahead of us yeah yeah um, going like it's this whole pathway up to this this like cavern mm -hmm. well shall we tread lightly then uh, yeah sure basil should we just go first it seems like no one wants to go first <laughs> absolutely i think we should be front of the pack i think they're a little scared to walk they want to tread lightly great <laughs> I will I just, say, I didn't, we, we just both investigated, yes. okay, you got it. All right, oh, there she goes, well, it's, I'm it's gonna go. protected. <laughs> She's so confident and tall. So, um, <laughs> reckless. If I was tall, maybe I'd be. So you all notice that Basil is moving very um, fluidly. It's basically one with this foliage, and it's like this ruffling bush that goes And it can go pretty much as far as you'd like ahead of you. Are you trailing far behind, or are you sort of scouting the dragon out? We're mostly scouting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So uh, I'll say that with um, Basil, you can basically get all the way up to like the entrance of this cave. Mm -hmm. um, it comes back to you in like images in your mind of these steps that it had to climb to go up to. Mm -hmm. So it is definitely like a humanoid made structure that's built around this thing. Uh, and as it comes up to the opening of the cave, boom, it hits an invisible wall of some sort and just like sort of, oh, oh it doesn't crack its neck. Basil! <laughs> but it's like, like a bird Basil. running into a it's window. Basil, all right. Basil, are you all right? <laughs> Basil, come back. So that's that detect. That's that's the that, uh, protective magic I was telling you about. That was thing would be. I thought it'd be fine, Basil. I'm sorry. Come back. Come back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically, hitting that wall uh, and running into this magic, so it's ba basically saying like maybe let's keep onto the okay. path towards the village. That this was a hidden area that you have found that may be protected. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, as we're in like the slightly more confined space of the steps, I'm just also very cautious to make sure Spike doesn't touch anybody. Uh huh. Uh, so I like body block at all times to make sure nobody accidentally bumps into Spike because he's incredibly poisonous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you've Thank all noticed you. this behavior, yeah. but have you explained why? 
Um, I think I would have given you guys a warning. Mm -hmm. I would have told you like, oh, he really doesn't like to be touched. And by really doesn't like to be, if you touch him, you will be poisoned. Oh, <laughs> Nicole, we do understand, don't we? <laughs> oh yeah, dear. We know what you're talking yes, about. Yes, I understand. We're among friends here. <laughs> And I'll continue to be like, no, but for real. <laughs> uh, and like, I very comfortably also will like back up and make contact with Spike, uh, but in order to like put myself in between anybody and the poison. Have you described what you are? I realized I didn't. Mm. Uh, I am a circle of spores druid. Uh, I am, I have uh, like elf like features. Mm. Very little guy, uh, which doesn't make any sense for an elf. Right. I'm a little guy for an elf, uh, but I am reborn, uh, mm -hmm. which I think that there's not a ton of like noticeable signs of it. What you can see is that like by the little bits of her skin that show, there's just a little bit of like green and purple discoloration mm -hmm. uh, that are actually kind of a comparable color to the tones on the Locksburg mm -hmm. Dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, she has like little bits on like her fingertips are all entirely like a deep purple that fade into like a green in her hands and a little bit up her neck as well. She looks cool. cool. You look like a flower. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. She looks like a flower uh, or a zombie. Yeah. Mm. You know? I will say too, Pear, you are sort of detecting mm -hmm. a bit of undead energy, mm -hmm. just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you? I'm unfamiliar. Do you know if he, regular healing magic works on redead? Yes, it does. Or reborn? Oh, yeah. On the okay. reborn, yeah. Uh, it essentially, pretty much everything works. It just means cool. that I don't sleep and I don't breathe. Great. Uh, or eat. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how's that? Mm. What do you miss the most about food? Wow. Did you have a favorite food? Oh, I loved sweets. <sighs> Oh, anything sweet and sugary. Mm. I can still eat, it just doesn't really do anything. Oh, that's devastating. It's all right. Can you salivate? <laughs> huh. Do you feel Nothing. texture? Oh, oh, oh. Is there texture? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. good. That's I good. Mean, that mostly yeah. works. All right. Mostly though. Yeah. Everything tastes a little bit funny now because of the poison, mm. but. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, Ro Rose, no, Rose, no, Rose, no, Rose, 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 Rose is like uh, uh, approaching uh, uh, who you just told us not to. Yeah, 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 yeah. don't touch me. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. But the smell, smell is so interesting. No, 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 you can't, this, there's other ways to make friends. You don't have to get all the way close to them. I like Rhodes. get right in between the dragons and I go, trust me, bud, been there. <laughs> okay, oh. <good> okay. <laughs> but yeah, so as you sort of gather yourselves and turn around to go back towards the, the village proper, you can see it's a small plant-filled oasis mm. among the jagged mountains. It is surrounded on one side by the mountain range, uh, and it has carved out fields that rise like steps carpeted with blossoms. Oh. The fields are alive and buzzing with movement, thanks in part to bee-like insects that you can spot called vespins. They're a little bit different than bees. Ooh, we've got a little picture here. Uh, <laughs> they have six legs and they're kind of furry. They're about fist-sized too, so they're pretty big. Um, and you can notice that they have like a chitinous back and it's shining against their rapid moving wings, which is creating like a buzzing sound. You can, you can really hear it. The other side of Mushi Village consists of a glittering seashore. The sand, composed of the same rocks as the mountains, shimmers under the crystal clear water with varying sh shades of blue. The peaceful waves gently crash against sturdy wooden docks that dot the shoreline with ships bobbing in the tide. Mm. There's a sense of sleepiness to the people of this village, literally. Hmm. People you pass by on the cobbled streets shuffle along their routes as though they were undead, but you're pretty sure they're not. You're not getting that <laughs> same energy. Yeah. I feel like I'd know. You would know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'd know. They just look very tired. Yes. Your invitations have specified to meet Ricky at the local inn and tavern, the Bursting Bouquet. Aww. You're able to find it at the center of a town square, a tall building completely covered in flowering vines. Mm -hmm. The smell is a bit of a punch to the nose, but a weathered wooden sign confirms this is the location you're looking for. There are stables available for use, but a wide front door frame of the establishment lets you know that people often bring their companions inside. Mm. What would you like to do? Well, shall we? I open, I hold the door open. Nice. Yeah, it's sort of like a swinging door. Yes. So you're oh, able to, thank to do you. that. Is everybody going inside with their companions or is mm. anyone putting them in the stable? <gasps> no. 
Oh, never. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Spike walks in before I do. Yes, we're finally here. <laughs> yeah. I would like to think Basil walks in first, but tries to spook everyone walking through the door. Mm. Like when like she hides off to the side, is like, ha ha, yeah. <laughs> you walked in. What you can notice too is that Basil, like it's second nature, mm -hmm. works their way into the 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 um the inn and then becomes a plant. Aww. It's like indistinguishable from like one of the house plants that's wow. on the wall. Incredible. She loves hide and seek. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, as you enter, the aroma around you immediately changes to a pleasant perfume. Mm -hmm. You notice that there are coals in a fireplace emanating a sweet smoke curtain that floats near the ceiling. The lobby is relatively open with a few round tables holding up blossoming centerpieces. The serene scene is interrupted by the shouts of a gnome on, in a top hat. Oh. He has climbed to stand on top of his chair, and you can hear mild clinking sounds coming from the many pouches that cover his outfit. You called me in for help, and you won't even let me examine her? What about the access to your arcane garden? You promised! You all recognize this gnome as Ricky Huckster, who oh. you are here to see. Ricky! Yay! <laughs> he seems to be shouting at an albino dragonborn woman clad in priestly robes. But as you say, Ricky, he uh, turns delightfully <laughs> over to you. Whoa! Oh, you're here! Oh, thank goodness all of you have arrived! Why, yes, it is me, the peddler of potions, the tinkerer of tinctures, the enabler of elixirs. It's Ricky Huckster! Yes, yes. Thank you for the applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I love that part. This woman that he was talking to, she's like, oh, but it is my sacred duty to guard Saku. I cannot just tell you where she is. And the arcade garden is forbidden. A lady of the cloth? Ah, oh, yes. Like I the am... bed sheets? <laughs> yes. Sir, no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see we have another priest in our presence. Yes. I am Gloriolus Yaro, mm. head priest of the House of Cherry. Excuse me, I'm just a bit quite all right. Tired. Oh, quite all right. Do that, I do that too. Uh, yeah. Oh, mm. for real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> back, trying to it's hold it No, 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 no. <clears throat> I, I, I'm, I'm just confused. We are here to assist. Are we mm. not? Can you not see, as a, a fellow lady of the cloth, that we are here to assist? Well, I, I suppose so. Yes, we have been having a problem. Everybody in Mushi Village just cannot get any sleep. <gasps> We That's first devastating. thought it was something to do with the food. And so we thought, Mr. Huckster here. Please, Mr. Huckster was my father. I'm Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> I've checked all of the food and the water supply, and I could not find anything fiddly. But I did do my research, and I know that there is a dragon around here. Saku, the sacred cherry blossom dragon. And I know that they communicate via dreams. So if we can convince her to let us examine this sacred dragon, maybe we can find out what the problem is. Of course. Mm. Well, as a peace domain cleric, I am here to negotiate. Is there perhaps something that we can do to assuage your concerns? Mm. Well, uh, what, what have you done in service of your people? Oh. Well, I service the Saguaro royal family. Oh. Um, I have the best crying shoulder. Um, <laughs> whenever the princess has a problem, um, she speaks to me for hours and I uh, swage her of her troubles and her hair is very soft. But anyway, um, <laughs> I, I, we have serviced the royal family for generations to come. That is why their kingdom is so prosperous. Mm. Go ahead and roll a persuasion, you and I'm gonna give you advantage because oh, that was pretty you. great. Thank you. <laughs> While you're doing that, Spike and I are just sniffing all the food and beverages for poison. Yes. <laughs> Good to know. Twenty-two. A twenty-two. Eighteen twice. Thanks, guys. Well, you are pretty convincing, but why should we let other strangers in our sacred temple? Well, these are our trusted friends. Oh. Really, just like a face in people, like at people's tables, sniffing their food. Nice. <laughs> so, eccentric, as, trusted friend. Yeah. As you go around, there are a few other patrons yeah, that are yeah. here in the lobby. Um, you can see that there is a Triton that has fallen asleep in their soup. Yeah. Uh, and mm. there's sort of bubbles that come up from it. Uh huh. Uh, there is a Minotaur mm -hmm. uh, who is like sort of bobbing as they're sitting 
trying to focus at the yeah. table. Mm. And there also seems to be a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sniff it, sniff it. <laughs> no, t- no poison you can detect. Um, there's also a couple. Uh, it seems to be you can sort of tell that these are wives that are sort of in a relaxed relationship and not necessarily a formal date, but they're just out together. I oh. took that guy's drink. You did <laughs> uh, the one that was like nodding yeah. off the yeah. minotaur. <laughs> <gasps> I'm making sure it's not poison. Oh. <laughs> it's milk. <laughs> it's poison. <laughs> I have a delicate stomach. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so Gloriolis seems to be extremely convinced by that persuasion role. I suppose we could make a journey out to the cavern, but. We cannot approach too closely. We will upset her. We wouldn't want that, now would we? No, we must follow the rituals, you mm. promise? Of course. Oh, That's totally. Good. All right. Well, we will bring along one acolyte. And she claps her hands, and a loxodon appears. Um, this is Jasmine Bluebell. She mm-hmm. also has similar robes, and you can see the House of Cherry symbol on it as well. Cool. Uh, this Loxodon, which is a, an elephant-like cre- person, uh, comes out and she's also very tired and speaks a bit slowly. Um, she says, mm, all right, we're taking them. Mm, so excited. Let's go. Yes! Yes! <laughs> all right! I, uh, I lean in with like a little bit of a shit-eating grin mm. towards Spike and I just go, I bet you're so tired of how fast I talk right now. <laughs> I, bet, I, bet, I, bet, I bet, man, you just must be so excited by all of this if I talk too fast. I bet everybody's so much fun to be around here. Wow. <laughs> I'll have what she's having. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> she took what was his and went with the Minotaur. Oh. It's milk! <laughs> milk all around. All so, around. A Minotaur drinking milk has some implications. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. That guy was a freak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. I, I, so I'm, I'm, I think I, I will have been looking around and, yes. and, and let, so one of the things that Rhodes does obviously as a, as a newer kind of adolescent dragon out in the world for his first time, everything, he's curious about everything. Yeah. And for the first time, I'm not actually reining him in. I'm, I'm kind of letting him, I'm letting him follow Wonder. his nose. Yeah. Are you still mounted on him? And... I am, yes. Okay. So I'm kind of tucking and you know, <laughs> he's medium sized and I'm small. So this room, this, this is hopefully a room for us. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'm, I'm, as I'm, as this is happening, I, I, I do kind of lean over and tell him, I was like, you know, uh, if there's anything out of place here, Rhodes, anything that smells really new or really different from everyone else, follow your nose. Mmm, okay. <laughs> uh, not, the po- not the poison. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have to remind him all the time. That's okay. And Rhodes kind of brings you behind. There's a, a big wooden bar that's there because this is also the tavern. Um, and he brings you right behind the bar. There is a, a cook that is back there, a changeling who looks kind of bug-like. They have um, orange fur coming out of them, but they're purple altogether with a sort of chitinous uh, exoskeleton. Um, Rhodes, like, sniffs around for a bit and then boom, go zeroes in on this small wooden container. And I kind of pat him and, and give him a little bit of a tug on, on one of his uh, uh, pedals. Yes. And and that, uh, it, hopefully, if it works this time, right? that's his signal to down, down boy, down. Got it. Um, go ahead and roll animal handling for me. Oh. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. Man. <laughs> You got this. Nope. Ooh, what'd you get? A two. A two. <laughs> All right. So Rhodes does not listen to your commands. No. And instead, excitedly, like puts the box in his snout, <laughs> in his mouth, uh-huh. and sort of like turns around to like show you. Like, here, here, here. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. It, it, what's the? Immediately, uh, I turn my uh, my eyes go to this cook. This, this cook. cook. Yeah, yeah. What they, is their expression? They're like their response. What are you doing? Is, that, <laughs> is this person? as sleepy as everybody else. You can't tell, they may have been before, but now they're alert. Oh. You have like, you have like 
tip them off sort of thing. Okay. Given that it hasn't been, I don't think more than, ten, has it been more than 10 minutes? Since? Since we got in? No, Because no. I cast Detect Magic right before we came in. Oh, okay. Uh, so I still have Detect Magic up. That goes for 10 minutes. Gotcha. So. There are a few things that shine with magic, both mm-hmm. like people's personal items and some things that are coming around. But as like this commotion is happening, mm-hmm. that box, the box itself isn't magic. And you, okay. you can sort of get a, a faint glow that there may be something in there. Hmm. Is do I perceive that from where I am, or no. is it just you? I'll tell you. Okay. I'll like kind of. There's something magic in that box. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a stealth. Ooh. Let's see if that gets across. Are that you yeah. telepathic, or is that just with you? And I the am. Yeah. Oh, okay. so are yeah. you saying this telepathic? So I have uh, the telepathic feet, so I can oh. speak to anybody telepathically, oh, and I can open it up so we can communicate oh. in both directions. The group chat. I also the group can speak chat. any language I can see. Well, um, yeah. Uh, that's an 18 on the die. Uh, so that's a 22. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Wow. no one sees yeah. you Incredible. or hears you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that one I did just kind of like whisper to y'all. Uh, mm-hmm. But I think at this point I could too like open up the group chat mm-hmm. and be like, okay. Uh, did, and did the person, the cook, yes. have any magic? Uh, nope, not that you could tell. Mm-hmm. They don't seem like they have magic. Oh, no. They themselves, because they're fae, they might mm-hmm. emanate just a little yeah, inherent magic. But nothing like. They're actively, they have a spell Casting on them. Anything. No. And did the sleepy people have a magic thing on them? Okay, so nope. it doesn't seem like there was an active spell on them either. Yeah. They were just mm. uh, tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, you, did you call attention to the box in, in what you communicated? Uh, yes, I let you know that the, there is magic in the box. Okay. Mm, uh, 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 upon hearing that, mm-hmm. I'm gonna uh, jump off of Rose mm-hmm. and I'm gonna grab him by, by the face to try to get his attention. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna he still has the box in his mouth. I'm gonna say to him in Draconic, I'm gonna say to him, um, run. Oh, oh, oh. And, I, and I'm gonna act as though I was like, no, wait, no. And I'm gonna turn around to the cook, and I'm just gonna say, oh, I'm so sorry. He's just, he's really young. I, 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 I will get you whatever that was. It's that's the right. last of our sleeping herbs. Sleeping herbs? Yes. What do you mean, sleeping herbs? Well, the people have been having problems sleeping. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been sprinkling in when people really need it. But it's not working. They're all so tired. Because we're running out. It. That's why we called that one. Oh, and he, they point over at Ricky. He's oh. like, I'm fresh out too. Well, doesn't that seem a little bit like a band-aid? Like on a larger problem? Like then maybe the resources should be going to figuring out what's actually preventing them from getting sleep I rather than yeah. forcing them the to sleep. Resources. That's oh, why you're great. here. Okay, awesome. Never mind. Yeah. I'm oh. caught up. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so you're not up to something then, are you? I mean, <laughs> who's asking? <laughs> Oh, Turn I like this one. <laughs> this one's very fun. <laughs> the bug-like uh, eyes are just like <laughs> sparkling. And I'm now like, you know, three foot three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> if I could have my box back. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh. We are in a shortage. Please. <laughs> and I'm going to go back to retrieve the box and I'm going to run past you. I say, they said box. <laughs> Um, Rhodes, uh, Rhodes, uh, can I have my box back? What? <laughs> <laughs> Covered in saliva. Saliva. Yeah. I, don't miss it. I don't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> and I will hand it back to the James. Thank you. We are so sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, with that being said, Gloriosa and Jasmine are ready to take you to the sacred cavern. Is there anything else you'd like to do to prepare? Before heading up? That's that's a that's not like a threat. Yeah, I <laughs> know that's dead, right? Would you like to save your game? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a checkpoint. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Um, I'll uh, I think that I'll like. I think Amanita kind of like straightens up into a slightly more like confident and mm. like prepared stance. Uh, and when Spike recognizes it, Spike like lowers mm-hmm. to allow her to jump up on the mount. Great. Um, so Ooh. I will be on, on Spike's back. I'm gonna cast yes. Bless on the three of you. Ooh, Thank you. what does it look like oh. when she casts Bless? Thank you so much for asking. Of course. So a beautiful glittering sand uh, wafts around you and you smell the same perfume that I'm wearing. And you just feel a sort of nice, like warm summer breeze encapsulate your shoulders and hair. Thank you. You're quite welcome, my oh. darling. So, and then remind everybody what that gets them. It's Absolutely, yeah. So you get, um, you get, you can roll, uh, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled oh, yeah. to the attack roll or saving throw. Great. Mm-hmm. Keep that in mind, everyone. It mm-hmm. mm-hmm. might be useful. Hold a d4 somewhere else. Always. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have less. You are all less. <laughs> Perfect. 
Uh, and so as you make your way out and you're sort of casting mm -hmm. this bless, Ricky actually pulls you aside a little bit just to speak. Mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised that you're here. I heard tales that you've been missing. Oh, wildly exaggerated. I'm right here. Well, I, I can see that. Yes, of course. Perhaps some people may think I'm missing. Oh, dear. What? Are we here? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, it was sort of out of your shot, yeah. but okay. if you're listening, yeah. I'm, I'm incredibly nosy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, well. You're not going to sick the entire Saguaro family after Goodness, us. no, 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 no. I may have just gallivanted off into the desert in search of perhaps a, a break from my humdrum life and uh, oh. come upon Prickle. Uh, and Prickle was very, very injured. And, well, I haven't done much combat in my day, but I thought I might throw my mace into the ring, so to speak. Save Prickle's life. I maybe got a bit injured. Prickle nursed me back to health with their magical saliva, and I have been missing for two weeks. Oh. But it's, I like to think of it as a sabbatical. Yeah. It's a vacation. It's, exactly. It's a, this sounds more like a midlife crisis, no? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Did you just get called old? Yes, I think I did. We may you, be the same height, but I'm only 30 years old. <laughs> That's pretty old. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. Well, for a human, I guess, who cares that an elf lives to be a, a bajillion. A bajillion. Yeah. Well, yeah. unless you get poisoned. <laughs> Prickle, can you just, I need a little healing, but for other reasons, oh, emotionally. Oh dear, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful. Appreciate There's no one that could compare. Yeah, you're like really pretty. Oh. You so are. are you like with the princess? Is that like a... Who's to say? And you. on that note, we cut away. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, someday perhaps, yeah. maybe I find something beautiful while I'm out here and I bring it back to her and I get down on me in front of the royal family and I propose. But perhaps that's not what happens. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> or perhaps that's what does. I don't know. We should probably go. Here we are. Oh, oh she's so nervous. Let's <sighs> walk, guys. Yeah, Let's yeah. walk. So yeah. you make your way back out the pathway that you came directly into the village, and then you do go down that hidden pathway that you found. Mm -hmm. This is the pathway to that sacred cavern. Mm -hmm. And so with the help mm -hmm. of the priests of the House of Cherry, they do some sort of symbolic hand waving, and the path clears for you. Um, and you, you can know tell. the hand waving. Right. <laughs> I'm like what watching it, it and trying to learn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, OK. So both of you, if you're watching this intently, make an arcana mm. check. Absolutely. Ooh. Or religion in your case. Ooh, that I love work. that for me. I love three. Let's three. See, yeah, religion. As Sorry, this is happening, Basil yes. and I are like scared to step forward now. We're yeah. just like, is there a yeah. wall here? <laughs> is there like a wall a seven. somewhere? A seven. Yeah, I've got a six. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I just sneeze in the middle and I'm like, I missed it. I missed it too. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, so both of them are gently moving forward and this gesture just clears the pathway mm. uh, as if they were like using machetes or something wow. like that in the jungle, wow. but very passively and peacefully. Goodness. They lead you all the way up to that cavern that had the invisible wall that you now know about, <laughs> and both of them put their hands up against it and it dissipates. Mm. Wow. Wow. And you get a, a, like a flash of cave air as this is let out, but it's almost like serene. You can hear the trickle of a small stream. And as you make your way into this cavern, you can see that the pebbles are uh, arranged in like a Zen garden oh. pattern. There is a rake and there are like swirls that go all along this, this huge cavern that you now go into. There is a cherry blossom dragon that is sleeping on the far side of this cavern. Now your dragons are all medium sized. This one is large. This one is mm. a big, big dragon. Um, I think even huge. Wow. Um, and it is gorgeous. It is pink and white, and it has these long purple strands that almost look like ribbons, but there are branches that wrap around it, covered in small, delicate pink petals. But they do, they do seem a bit sparse, and you can see that there are petals littering the floor of the cavern as if it had been molting. So oh, it dear. Uh, to the right-hand side, where the two priests go to, there is a small altar, and there seem to be purple potion bottles that are lined up, and there is a small stream that is like filling them up. Mm. You see the two of them ritualistically grab these bottles and then start handing them to you passing them down the line for oh. each, and uh, another one for your companions if you feel oh. so inclined. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Prickle, how do you feel? Do you want do you want one? It smells good. It does smell good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Also, did you get a look at that dragon? I certainly <laughs> She's so beautiful. She's very beautiful. Oh, Prickle. Oh, Prickle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, <laughs> how is the Amaranth dragon uh, spending their time? Are they hidden or are they acknowledging mm. the cherry blossom dragon? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Basil? It's almost going around and popping up every once in a while, going around, popping up somewhere else. Yeah. So they're taking a survey of the entire area. And I, I, I lean see... into you and I just say, Basil is adorable, by the way. Oh, isn't she amazing? Yes, she's oh, fabulous. I love her. Yes. If she spooks you sometimes, mm. she just loves playing. Oh, okay, so. good. And she gently makes her way, not disturbing any of the patterns in the rocks. Just <laughs> gorgeous. Uh, what uh, what is Rhodes and Inaris doing? Are they are you taking the potion in your hand? I'm going to take it in my hand. Mm -hmm. But uh, as soon as we walk in, something uh, calls to my attention. While I was watching, notice two of my companions see if they can learn the movements, uh -huh. and a light bulb goes off. Uh -huh. And uh, I will lean down to Rhodes as I, I climb. Uh, I'm still on Rhodes. Um, see if you can smell if anyone's in here. Do you think you can do that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I can. Because <laughs> if uh, and <laughs> thinking you had communicated to me telepathically, mm -hmm. so I'm going to turn to you, thinking maybe that you'll receive this because I'm not used to how that channel works completely yet. So you just maybe at some point notice me like looking at you and. Uh, yeah, uh, it's up. No, it's up. It's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> is this thing on? <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe, maybe somebody snuck in here and they were up to no good. If it's possible for someone else to learn what they did to get through here, maybe somebody already learned it and came here and caused some trouble. I don't know. It was really hard to learn. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's impossible. Uh, uh, I mean, it couldn't have been a user error. I would assume it's not a skill issue. It's probably really hard. But right. you might be right. There could be somebody who is an extraordinary magic user yes. and really extraordinary. Really powerful and dangerous. <laughs> really powerful and dangerous. Just barely smarter than us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and roll for Rhodes, okay. uh, and you have the special ability, keen hearing and smell. Yes. We're going to do a perception check, and I'm going to allow you to use that so you have advantage on this. Great. It's a feature of the Rhododendron Dragon. Sure Can I also see if Basil has found anything just yes. going around? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and either do survival, nature, perception, however you want to attack that. <laughs> Uh, Rhodes got an 18 on perception. Oh, it also, it has keen senses, advantage on perception. Yeah. Uh, what did you get? 18 for 18. Rhodes on perception. So Rhodes is sniffing <laughs> around and then sort of formulates an opinion. Like, uh, <gasps> yes, there was someone here. The priest, a priest, another one, <laughs> and then someone with a mushroom. Ooh. Oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get from Rhodes. Okay. Uh, how did Basil do? A beautiful nat 20. Oh, nat 20! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. Basil's good. So, Basil has been surveying the whole mm -hmm. area, but hasn't been too afraid of the cherry blossom dragon, and so he's able to kind of get a bit closer because it's not really paying attention yeah. to them anyway. What you can see through Basil is that there does seem to be small sort of mites that have latched themselves <gasps> onto the dragon in its tail. And it, they blend in almost mm -hmm. perfectly with the pattern mm -hmm. on the dragon. So the naked eye does not spot them. They're connected, but then their shell over the top of them gives them a natural camouflage. Whoa. There seems to be about like four or five of them. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, I want to talk to one of the priests that's mm -hmm. there. Or priestess. Is yes. <laughs> be like, um, can we? Can we move closer? Who oh, no. knew? Oh no! Oh. We would disturb the sacred ground. Have you guys moved? Cl Do you Never. guys go? The, you are unfamiliar, of course. The cherry blossom dragon Saku communicates mainly through dreams. So if we want to talk to them, bottoms up, as they say. Oh. oh. Well, I think I think your dragon has a bug issue. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What? Maybe maybe you should stop communicating through dreams sometimes. <laughs> but it's how she prefers. She gets so tired by speaking. Well, you could just walk around. You don't have to talk. Mm. Why is everybody so tired? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think perhaps we should maybe try to commune with Saku to find out. Mm -hmm. I've checked. They're not poisoned. 
Correct. That's great. Oh, that's Correct. nice. <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, we said it before checking. It smells yeah, after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's so good. So uh, the priestess is both due. Okay, oh. I will drink it. Oh. Really? Very ceremoniously. Yes. Uh, I, like, give Spike their own, uh, mm-hmm. and we both just kind of, like, Mm-hmm. <laughs> See you over there, Prickle. Should They're excited. That's what I'm thinking. Not, huh? Oh no! Ah, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, is everyone asleep? Uh, well, I don't want to be awake by myself. I don't want to be awake by myself. Two roads is already. Basil, Basil, with roads. All right, I'm in. Bottoms up. <laughs> you all fall into the dream realm. Mm. Uh, normally, uh, you can see that there is a communication with this cherry blossom dragon, and you get memories in your dreams that are not your own. You can see a great festival taking place where um, Saku has been sharing bountiful dreams with everybody, and then she'll come down to the village and share. And then all of a sudden, flash! Well. You see this horrible visage. While the cherry blossom dragon has an elongated, sort of elegant face, you, ne- you now see like the skull behind it. Mm-hmm. And you see it covered in fungus. <gasps> there are mushrooms that are growing out of its eye sockets, mm-hmm. and it sort of drools and looks you in your mental eye. <laughs> and you're snapped back. Oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, are we sick. together still? Or are we in like... You are okay. still together, yeah. but the dream has ended. <gasps> oh. You didn't get any refreshing oh. sleep whatsoever, uh. and all of you were awoken in a start it's, with this horrible image. It's because everyone's afraid of mushrooms. How much time oh, has you. passed? Uh, you can't tell because you've just woken up, mm. but it's only been like five minutes. Mm. Not very long at all. Mm. And as you're stirring and waking up, the priestesses too are both like, Oh, I thought it was going to be longer this time. Oh, goodness. We always have these nightmares. <gasps> How long has it been since you've had a full night's sleep? Weeks. 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 Well, that's not good for the REM cycle or the brain. We must act very quickly. Yes, naps are essential to the human life force. So we have to desensitize you to mushrooms, and I just start growing mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I think the dragon is poisoned, but we're not poisoned, but there's something growing inside it. Mm. Inside? It's well, like that's what the skull is. Yes, right? yeah. Perhaps it's infected it's with something. sick? Yes. Well, I'm afraid that we're going to need to we're gonna need to get a closer look. Yes, we're gonna need to get a closer look. Oh, Ricky. now we have Ricky! Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. This could be very bad, very bad indeed. And unceremoniously, Ricky plumps over the rocks just, uh-huh. just, oh, just, goodness. just, just, just right up to the dragon. And all of the priests react as if, like, oh no! But Saku is not reacting. This oh. is a gently sleeping dragon who is just sort of, it seems almost weak in its mm. uh, breathing. Is is the is the dragon like twitching or does it look like the dragon is having a nightmare? Yes. Oh, oh. It, looks, it looks distressed. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything I'll... that you can do? To... Well, let me see. Um, I think perhaps I could at least. Yeah. I just like put a hand on it and I. Uh, you touch the dragon. Uh, I I do touch the dragon. Okay. Oh, as you do. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Something happens. Okay. Oh. There are small mites that oh. are uh, on the dragon that uh, Basil had spotted before. Oh. They spring to life. Wings <gasps> pop out from these chitinous shells, and you recognize them now as florivores. Oh. These are special mites oh. that attack floral dragons. <gasps> Uh, and they sort of oh, latch oh, themselves perfect. on like parasites. They're, yeah, exactly to chat, you can see. <gasps> they're shrimp-like creatures. Oh. Uh, and so their back shells in this case were camouflaged to look like the cherry blossom dragon. But now that you see them, they are attacking. Oh, oh no. initiative! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I get so, initiative. yes, that's nice. yeah, I think nice. I also nice. get advantage on initiative. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we totally yeah. all okay. do. Nice. 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 As nice. far as you can tell, four floravores pop up off okay. of this dragon, and they, they are coming after you specifically that's fine. for making contact with that. That is fine, oh. that is fine. Uh, and they're eyeing up your floral dragons as well. <gasps> oh, no, so first of all, let's go ahead and get some initiatives 17. 17, and we're going to share initiative for yourself and your companions, so Got you it. both go on. 
-hmm. your uh, turn. Go ahead. 21. 21! Uh, Mayana? 19. 19. And for Inaris? 18. 18. Have you all have blessed. blessed. You all have blessed. blessed. True, you can add. True. Yes. yes. So Estelle, you're going to be coming up first on your mm -hmm. uh, action, and then Perry, you're on deck. All right. Uh, Estelle, what would you like to do first, or if you'd like Basil to make the first move? Mm, I'll go first. Sure. Uh, Estelle will go first. How yes. far am I away from? Did you um, move closer to it, or are you still sort of in that? I ritual feel like area? Basil's close, but I'm still. Not yeah. as close, yeah. you know? Then I'd say you're about like 20 feet away 20 from 20 feet. All right, I'm going to take mm. out my long bow. Okay. And mm. if is there one in the... Do they fly? They are. They're, fly, flying they're all right flying now, and they all seem to be surrounding pair. So they're oh, all like over okay. in that area. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just going to get the one, I think, lowest to the ground, but uh -huh. still flying. Mm. I'm just going to try to hit that bad boy. Mm, nice. All right. <laughs> so I have to do Go math. Go roll to <laughs> hit. <laughs> No. 16. That hits. Ooh. Oh, yes. okay. That hits. I was scared for a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it. I rolled the wrong one. <laughs> 12. 12 points of damage. What does that look like when you damage this, this creature with your arrow? So when I take out my arrow, it's a beautiful long stretch to the side. Mm. And as it shoots, you feel like the wind you feel the wind going, like you know there's wind passing through the arrow. It's as if wind's not there. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. when it hits, it's almost like a mini firework explosion. <laughs> yeah. And it does take quite a bit of damage. You can see that it's like knocked off of its flight path and now <laughs> notices you. Mm. Ooh, come uh, at me, baby. Yeah, uh, and then we've got Basil. Yes, uh, Basil, um, I want to see if Basil can just actually still go around to see if there are more mites. Yes, uh, and I believe, does Basil have anything for movement? You've got 30 feet of movement, but Basil mm -hmm. also can climb 30 feet too. So how, how would you like to position them? Um, I Is there like um, more of like a higher space of foliage, I do want Basil to stay more like stealthy. Like I don't want Basil to really show that cool. she's around. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and roll a stealth check with her stats then. Cool. Boop, boop. Add, that's a plus six for her. Six. So she got 12. 12. Perfect. Yes. I would say that she is successfully hidden uh, okay. with her floral appearance. Yeah. And just I just okay. want to know if I see anything through her, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Actually, I'll give you that you spot the florivores were covering something up on okay. Saku. Ooh. And there is actually a patch of fungus. Oh There's no. Got it. Mush there are mushrooms that are sort of coming up out of the tail. Got mm. it. Estelle's going to keep that to herself for a little bit. <laughs> mm. Yeah, what did you do? <laughs> I just work here. <laughs> <I just> work <laughs> here. <laughs> All right, uh, so we've got Pear up and right. then Inaris is on deck. Thank you. Prickle, why don't you show Prickle. them how pretty you are? Mm. And then Prickle's going to do bewildering floral presents. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Each creature of the dragon's choice within 120 feet must succeed on a DC wisdom saving throw or become incapacitated for one minute. This is amazing. So who are you choosing? Oh, I, all four of them if I can. All four floral Within 120 floors. feet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so what check is it again? It's a wisdom save of DC 17. They don't have a great wisdom. <laughs> <gasps> they roll a 17. Oh, oh my Okay, gosh. wait, I'll do each one. All right. So okay. one of them is okay. Okay. One of them fails. Okay. Two of them fail. Okay. Three of them fail. Okay, oh, okay. yeah! So the one that was hit, it's mm. like in it. Mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. they're, they're sort of not looking at Prickle, mm -hmm. and they're focused on Estelle, so they're not affected by this. Amazing. But, uh, yeah. What, what does this look like? Um, so what you see is like Prickle tends to kind of just chill, but mm -hmm. then all of a sudden just like puffs her chest out. The, the 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 things are all like rising. Her tail comes up with this beautiful flower. And she's just she's just drawing all of your attention. She's <laughs> absolutely stunning. She she's very humble about it. She <laughs> tries not to make a big deal out of it. Oh, this old thing. Mm, this old thing. I've yes. had this for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she's looking gorgeous. And then uh, for my attack, I'm gonna do guiding bolt Ooh. at first level. Yes. And do I roll to hit for that? Uh, or did that just happen? I, I think I rolled. It's a hit. I think yeah. you rolled a hit. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, plus 17, oh, it's a 20, dirty 20. Hits. Great. Um, it's 4d6, I'm gonna just roll that on here. Do, Which, do, do, do. are you aiming at one of the stunned ones, I'm assuming? I'm gonna aim at one of the stunned ones. So you 19. would have advantage yeah. on that too. Oh, but. great, amazing. Well, it's 19 points of damage. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then for my bonus action, I'm gonna summon a spiritual weapon. 
Um, and it's just a big, uh, beautiful like gong. <laughs> oh. That'll just like bring well, You gotta it. warm it up first. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Wow. All right, what are you guys doing? <laughs> so we have Inaris and Rhodes up, and then uh, I have Amanada on deck. Uh, is taken aback for a moment because something you said earlier suggested that you were not necessarily a well adventured <laughs> person seeking more adventure, but I just saw you bust all these movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I read books in my youth and maybe I was practicing. <laughs> maybe castle. indeed. Yes. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I, I, for my movement, I'm going to jump on to Rhodes. Yes. I've gotten, I had dismounted for a moment when we were interacting. Mm -hmm. Uh, jumping onto roads, mm -hmm. staying near you. Absolutely. Uh, because I see that they're get, showing their aggression. Mm -hmm. I am reluctantly pulling out a crystal short sword. Ooh. That is clearly something that was handed. I mean, you could tell this is something, uh, a, a prized possession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to uh, look at the one that's. There's the one that still seems to be aggressive. I know the other uh, the other ones are stuck. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm not paying attention to them. I'm going to go for the one mm -hmm. that, uh, to me, looks like is about to attack my companion. Yeah. And uh, I swing the crystal sword in this sort of figure eight movement. And you can see these mm -hmm. after images of the crystal sword. Yeah. And they almost freeze in the air for a moment. And the swords turn, the images of the swords turn and strike through this beetle and it marks them. This oh. is my fancy way of describing my hunter's, hunter's mark. I just oh. use a, a bonus action to cast. Hell yeah. And then I strike through those after images and I'm gonna uh, hopefully attack this. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, and I am gorgeous. Blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Uh, that is gonna uh, be a 26 to hit. That hits. Oh yeah. And, and then some. And you are going to take one D6, two D6. You got this. Uh, you take tw that takes tw d d d d 10 points of damage. Cool. Nice. It is still uh, airborne, but just barely. And now it is marked as well. Ooh, wow. And there's mark and on it. I'm going to attack it again because I can't second. Oh, you sure <laughs> did. Uh, so, same it's thing. It's rough. It's barely yeah, like okay. flooding. And I'm attacking again. Oh. Uh, this is six, uh, 13 to hit. It does not. Do you get oh. advantage from the mark? I don't. I okay. get an extra d6 when uh, I, when I uh, um, connect. Copy mm. that. Yeah, uh, that one misses. Mm. So a, a little bit <laughs> I, 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 overconfident, I go into strike again, and I miss with the second strike. Yeah, yeah. And then pull back a little bit, but stay adjacent to mm -hmm. you. Absolutely. Mm. And uh, that's my turn. Nice, Incredible. nice. So we're coming up on Aminata and Spike, mm -hmm. and yeah. then the creatures are on deck. OK. There are um, two that are still stunned. Uh -huh. One looks pretty badly damaged, and one yeah. looks damaged. OK. Uh, I'm going to go for the one that looks damaged, mm -hmm. uh, to because I think if I hit the other ones that were stunned, it would potentially knock them out of it if they take damage. I don't they know. have to make a check on is. their turn to okay. see. Uh, yeah, I'll go for the one that is currently damaged right now. Yeah. And um, you can see Amanita like lifts her hands up and the like long sleeves kind of slide back and you can finally fully see her like poison ridden hands uh, as she reaches out and she just kind of like points at one of them and I'm gonna cast infestation on the bugs. Yes! <laughs> Get the bugs uh, with the smaller bugs. Yeah. yeah! So it just creates like a little cloud of like I, I would like to flavor them to be kind of like looking like little them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> little mites that look yeah. kind of like these creatures. <laughs> Even the uh, lice have lice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, lice yeah, have yeah. lice, essentially. Uh, that is a con save. Save, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is also not great at that. I got a 10. <laughs> that does not save. Does not save. That does yeah. not save. That's 2d6 of poison damage. Whoa. Wow. Uh, and I'm checking, I also want to like observe how they respond to poison damage. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, so that's six points of poison damage. Mm. Uh, and then for my bonus action, I'm gonna do, that was a cantrip, this is also a cantrip. Uh, I just pull out of my pocket a little bag of rocks and I just chuck one yeah. at uh, <laughs> the same mite. Make a ranged attack. I will I say, that. with uh -huh. you're specifically looking for it, Yeah. It doesn't seem to be affected by the poison damage. Okay. Oh. It's as if you're immune. Oh! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game um, recognized game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got an 18 to hit. Nice. Yeah, that hits. Magic stone uh, for six points of damage. And you're hitting the one that was hurt. Yes, uh, actually six, seven, nine points of damage. Sorry, oh. six plus three. Describe uh, how you take it out yes. with your magic stone. <gasps> nice. I sit there and I points. watch, and you can see her like <laughs> tapping her foot like, <sighs> about the poison thing, mm -hmm. before she pulls out the rock and just goes, <laughs> and she like, waits for a while, just 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ask him and it's just like, it's so incredibly precise yeah. as it just like hits right between the thing's eyes and yeah. it drops to the ground. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at least everything's not immune to rock damage. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, looks over and she like is gonna communicate the poison information mm. uh, to Spike. Mm. Um, Spike is gonna move into melee with the creatures. Yes. Um, and you can see that Amanita looks a little nervous mm -hmm. about- Are you riding Sp uh, Spike or no? Yeah, I yeah. am still mounted because okay. I haven't said I dismounted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and she's just nervous of them poten potentially latching onto yes. uh, him. But uh, he's gonna go for a good old fashioned, uh, just like a, a smack, I think, with one of his like large wings. Okay. Um, just a straight up smack down. Sure. Um, so... On uh, one of the ones that are stunned or on the one that is like I'm severely damaged? I'm gonna go for one that's stunned. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go for one that's stunned. Uh, that is a natural one. Uh, it didn't roll at all. Okay. It simply dropped out of my hand. <laughs> it just it wanted to tell you something. Yeah. yeah. So there's a bit of a whiff <laughs> on that one. Uh, but I, the lark spur may have. It has multi attack. So it. Uh, yeah. So I will make another attack. Yeah. You can I use will try its again. Beak or talons. Yeah. Uh, let's go for a beak attack. Uh, that is a nine on the die plus mm. six. So that is a fifteen. Does a fifteen hit? It just misses. Oh, yeah. Oof, not rough. really. Not nailing it with this yeah, one. Yeah. We really got you thrown got off. One by the poison of it all, and it's like, it's kind of not our thing anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I would say that Spike tries to like play it off. Mm -hmm. Spike tries to be like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so it. we've got the Florivores up now. Oof. The one that is extremely hurt, mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of, it has like a battered wing as it's sort of mm -hmm. like, blah, 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 and it goes over to Prickle. Oh, uh, you. And goes, <laughs> and latches on mm -hmm. with small fangs mm -hmm. that it has. Mm -hmm. Also the, um, mm -hmm. The legs have the little hooks that yeah. it sort of digs into Prickle as well. Why don't you do me a favor and take a 1d12 piercing damage? Yeah! That, yeah. Actually, uh, the, <laughs> when the Florivore uh, attacks, Florivore's attacks against floral dragons and plants ignore damage resistances, but it will still take damage from the piercing. This damage ignores resistance to piercing damage. Nice! <laughs> so why don't you roll that for me? What is it? I oh. ignore your ignore. Uh, I roll, I just roll like a 20. Or yeah. for that? Well, no, it should it's, oh, be. Oh, it's 1d12 piercing damage for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. That's an 11. An 11. It's 11 piercing damage. Okay. Some interesting things happen. Oh. oh. It manages to get a hold of Prickle, uh, <coughs> clumping it down because it's taking the hit from the, the needles, mm -hmm. from the piercing. Ooh. Um, what you don't realize or what you can mm -hmm. kind of see is that it has something called sap sucker. Oh. Each time the Florivore hits a floral dragon or a plant with its bite attack, it regains some hit points. Oh. So it seems to be siphoning energy. Oh. So where it was really hurt and may have been like obliterated by this. Oh, and Prickle's got healing stuff. Oh, yeah, it's sort yo. of taking on these attributes of Prickle. Oh no! And it has gained a bit, uh, but still lost a bunch okay. from the piercing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. mm, interesting. But it's, not, it's like nesting in. Uh, there are two Ooh. others that are stunned. The third one has been completely rocked out. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it really skips their out. turn for now, but I am going to make a quick check because if they pass this, they're immune to your uh, floral, uh, the little <gasps> fauna. How dare they? Nope. <laughs> Neither of them. Prickle's so pretty. <laughs> so stunned. Yeah, yeah. Stunting. <laughs> and with that, we are back at the top of the round with Estelle mm -hmm. and Basil. Hello. I would love to run over to Prickle. Yes. Mm. Yes. How high is, where is Prickle? In the Prickle's air on the ground? On the ground, on the near ground. Saku. Got uh, it. Because they were over there and a pair had put a hand on Saku. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to take out just a light arrow of mine, run. I'm going to grapple that mite and try to just when get it off Prickle. Yeah. Oh, 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 the, the one, one on Prickle. I'm going to try that. to grab that thing. Okay. Like a mm. little tick if they like twist its head. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Go ahead and do two things. Yes. First of all, uh, make a slate of hand check. Ooh. This is going to be if you notice something that the Florivore is going to do, and yeah. then make your attack. Got it, got it, got it. Plus four, 11 for slate of hand. Ooh. 11, okay, okay. All right. I will say that you have- All half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you sort of have a good eye on this thing. Okay. So go ahead and take advantage on your attack roll. Ooh, that's nice. Oh. That's nice. 
<laughs> okay, I love advantage. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I love advantage. Yes. It ends up being 18 plus 9. What is that? That works, 27. <laughs> yeah, that, that hits. What is that? <laughs> Whatever. It is. That is How much good. damage are you doing? Mm. Um, I'm tr just going for it. Off? Yeah, like where the head is. Like, mm. I'm just trying to, like, I did. do I notice that it has, like. Yeah, yeah, that it's clamped Okay, I'm just going to try to, like, clamp it, but also, like, poke at it. Like, yeah. whatever gets that wrong of its okay. things off it. Yeah. I will say you did uh, manage the, with the, such a high roll for the attack. Yes. You do manage to do this. So you are nice. prying this thing off uh, and you can see as you could potentially be damaging the floor of war, it's like taking some damage from being pried off. Mm -hmm. uh, prickle yes. lets out a little. <sighs> Ugh. <laughs> ah. Ugh. Prickle, are you all right? It hurts. Oh, it goodness. hurts. Mm. Oh. Uh, and they have damage transfer. Oh, While attached oh. to a creature, the floor of war takes only half the damage dealt, oh. rounded down. The creature oh. takes the other half. Oh. 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 So, so, because you were so successful, you were able to pry it oh. off. Oh my yeah. gosh. But go ahead and roll a d6. Oh okay. my god. Boop. A four? So it takes two damage and Prickle <gasps> takes two damage. Oh my god! <laughs> it's only two. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah. But it is de it is very damaged and now it's like lost a fang from being pried yeah. off. Oh it's, no, it's is like, it left uh, in um, Prickle? Oh, oh, can you yeah. use a reaction? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, I'm, a, 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 I'm a side warrior. Yes. And I'd like to activate my protective field. Yeah, yeah. So it's what triggers it is if a creature within 30 feet of me takes damage, then I can use my reaction to expend a psionic energy die. Yes. Roll the die, reduce the damage taken by the number rolled. Hmm. So, so you're doing this for Prickle? I'm doing this for Prickle because Whoa. I don't know how much damage this is doing. Mm. I just know that these things are mm -hmm. attacking our floral dragons mm. that for me, where I'm from, we're meant to protect. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. So Absolutely. I want to reduce that damage yes, by please. all of it. Wow! Yay! Thank it. you! Amazing. Prickle's oh like, ooh. What does it look like? So Ooh. it it is uh, uh it, 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 it's so I'm I'm seeing this happen. There's like my eyes get really wide, horror stricken, and instinctually it's almost as if I'm reaching into my chest and pulling something out, and I just throw it <laughs> wow. right uh, over there, and this force field <clears throat> bursts right in between the parasite and the dragon, pushing uh, it further apart. Pushing, yeah, mm -hmm. pushing it further apart a little bit, almost for it's, it's like a little bit of a barrier. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That stops it from siphoning that energy, Incredible. and then it just dissipates. It actually, oh, uh, it starts gnawing on it, like. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and once it's done, that field, uh, that force field, shatters into these kind of iridescent butterflies oh. that just scatter and then disappear. Into yes, the beautiful. Oh my God. Love it. Amazing. Uh, and that'll be your reaction for this turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have Basil too. Yes, I'm still holding the might. Yes. Uh, Basil and I have such good partnership when it comes to hunting mm. that she knows when I'm holding something, yeah. it's her turn to come in and claw it up. <laughs> Take it right out of my hand, yeah. right into her claws. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll to attack. I would say you have advantage because you're holding it for her. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't we'll need it. <laughs> <laughs> Do I add anything for Basil? Yes, uh, for Six. Basil. Is it? For you a claw. Have... Oh wait, I see it. Yep. Plus, Plus four. four. Wow. So she got a 22. Wow. A 22. Uh, how much damage do you do? Two d It hits for sure. Yeah. Woo. Aw. <laughs> Three. I'm sorry, I'm so slow at, so slow at math. Eight. <laughs> Eight, perfect. How does this thing get destroyed yes. by so, Basil? You see nothing up until you see her come right out oh. from underneath, grab it with her claws, oh. and then she's back and gone. You don't know where she went with this one. Ah. A shark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a yeah, little man. shark. Completely yeah. blending in with some of the floral surroundings mm -hmm. too. It's, wow. It's now a meal. Amazing. All right, so that is coming up on uh, Pear yes. and Prickle, and then yeah. Dinaris and Rhodes are on deck with no reaction. So the last three remaining are the stunned ones, right? The two remaining two are the stunned. Two remaining, amazing, great. So um, <laughs> you. Prickle gets three attacks. Yeah, it wow. does. Um, but she also has heat breath. She sure wow. does. <laughs> so I think I might use heat breath. Is everybody within a safe distance away <laughs> from the heat breath? Well, the thing is, right Saku you, but... is also there. Oh yeah, so I won't do that. We won't <laughs> do that too. then. We won't do that, we won't do that. We won't do that. <laughs> No, no. I'm gonna go for a bite, and then I'm gonna go for tail, and then I'm yes. gonna go for tail again. Okay, Whoa. and just one of the stunned ones. So you yeah, one advantage. of the stunned ones. Great, amazing. So yeah, it's just like uh, 
see here. Natural 20. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, so um, when you roll yeah. damage for that one, we're going to double the damage. Oh my god. Okay, great. And then it's just a melee weapon attack. Um, so that's just her uh, yeah, strength? Should, or uh, She should have it under actions. Under We've actions. Oh, bite, yeah. Claw, tail. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Oh, it's a plus 10. But wait, That's no. amazing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Wow. It's 2d10 plus 6. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> and what? it's piercing. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Um, ooh, okay. So that's, uh, tw- that's 18 damage. 18, okay. Um, and then it's doubled, right? Oh, it's doubled. So yeah. it's 36. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it just disintegrates. She's like her, she, her, her teeth have little cactus spikes inside of them, so it's just like shredded to nothing. It's a doom yeah. worm. Yeah, it's a doom worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Popcorn. Yeah, it's like the popcorn oh bucket eats it out and then just like, <laughs> Like the, <laughs> just spits out the little wings and they just fall to the ground. Oh, oh amazing. my god! <laughs> um, so that's one of them. Um, and then I will. Uh, do I roll again for the? Yeah. So I yep. roll again for the second attack. Great. Yes. Yes. Amazing. You still Ooh. get advantage too. Oh, it's amazing! It is an eleven to hit on the second attack. Oh, it's not, not going to do quite it. Good enough. But what about tail? Um, that's a twenty again. Thirty yes. twenty. That's no, a natural twenty. 20. <laughs> Can I borrow those dice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I those made these. You did? My, so th- these pink ones I made at my friend Krikor's house. Uh, so thanks, Krikor. Wow. Um, yeah. Can I see? <laughs> Absolutely. Can I also yeah. See? Yeah. These are these are my Sailor Moon dice. Is oh, what I like. yeah. Um, so that's another. So for that's tail. Gorgeous. That is, I think. Also, yeah. It's one d ten plus six. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. Cool. So. Um, so wait, sorry, I did the wrong one. Uh, that's eight damage. Eight for Oh, that. but doubled 16. 16, cool. It's still <laughs> up, but stunned. Amazing. Uh, it's got that much left. Uh, and it's sort of in like a crumpled heap mm-hmm. still on the ground, but twitching. Yes, so. amazing. Uh, and then I think Pear, you still have an action Oh too. my God, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> right, me. Um, I have a spiritual weapon. The gong is yeah. gonna just uh, mosey on up to the other one and just swing back and try to hit it. Flat it, um, so I just roll. Uh, so are you hitting the gong or like the mallet? The gong the- itself is swinging to oh. like, like yeah. Oh. So the floor <laughs> is the mallet. It was a uh-huh. ten. It was a ten to hit, so it does not hit. hit. Does that's not. okay. Um, and that's a bonus action, right? So I also get my regular attack. Yes. Yeah. Great. Amazing. I think I'm gonna do another guiding bolt. Sweet. Um, let's see here. Oop, that does not hit. It's a six. Nope. Mm. Plus seven. It's still yeah. That's like what thirteen. Yes. Yes. Still that's still good. Did that's you bless awesome. yourself? I didn't. Just oh, you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I already have a blessing of assault. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> You're doing nice. great, by the way. Thank you. Very proud Thank of you. you. Did you see me again? I sure did. Uh, the wings are still on the ground. I think I will keep one as a memento. Ooh. Do you think she saw a Kusaku? I, I think she might have. <laughs> uh, Inaris, you and Rhodes are up, and then uh, Amanita and Spike are on deck. Okay. Uh, there's one of the bugs left that's stunned, right? Yeah, it's just. <laughs> I love that. So in my mind, this exchange is happening while you're doing all this stuff yeah. in these six seconds. You still are managing to have a kind of like flirty conversation <laughs> uh, 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 about this dragon with your floral dragon. And uh, while that's happening, I'm gonna uh, use my bonus action to take the hunter's mark that kind of like. It didn't dissipate, but it right. started floating where the other creature that has dropped to zero hit points was. Yes. And I'm just going to take it and throw it at the remaining one. Yep. Uh, so just like a, a an after image of, of a sword, boom, it, uh, it pierces it, and uh, this light kind of encompasses this creature. I'm going to attack it. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and I'm using the crystal uh, uh, sword, of course. Yes. Reluctantly, but doing it nonetheless. Oh, oh yeah! Not yes! Uh, that's got to hit. That's going to be like a 23 yes. minute. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> Hunter's Mark, and D6, and the crystal sword. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, that's a much better roll than last time. So, mm-hmm. 9, 10, 11. It has 11. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Tell me what happens here. Uh, So, uh, charging forth, uh, but before what was motivating me was like, oh no, I put somebody in danger, Uh oh, like all systems go. But then now I'm seeing that the person that I feel like I put in danger (laughs) is handling themselves as a non-adventure adventure (laughs) really well. (laughs) So now suddenly the impetus is different. Like half of my attention is on her wondering if she's watching. Mm. And I move forward on roads and I strike down at this beetle that's stunned anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
and this crystal sword just slices right through it cleanly. Ooh. And you sort of, just like, you know, like in the cartoons, it's still held together and then two of its pieces uh, s like just split diagonally from each other nice. and then fall. Poof. And then uh, uh, while that's happening, you hear an interruption of stop, stop, stop. And then Ricky himself runs over and scoops up <gasps> one of these halves oh and he's like these are ingredients stop destroying them all together i need this i need the bile <gasps> oh the bile <laughs> gotcha got it well At one of them point... disintegrated yeah sorry Except ricky the other one got eaten yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so well, sorry wait, one of them that got eaten but then got spit up or at least the wings got wings spit up right yeah. so i'm holding the wings up yeah <laughs> right. Uh, but Do these work? Point, we're out of initiative. Uh, yes. No, of oh. course not. The, the bile is made in the stomach. Oh, yes, oh. I knew that. We don't have any of those. Bags. You could. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you, you need both him? of them? Do you want to keep one? I do. Here you go. Keep one. Oh. Absolutely. But one for the scrapbook. And then I, I fold it in my up. bag. <laughs> fold it up and put it in my pocket. <laughs> uh, Ricky takes a vial and sort of scoops up some of this liquid that's goopy, stoppers it, and then pockets it away. Fascinating. I see. Well, it seems like this this dragon was being attacked by the Florivores. We've solved the problem. Here we go. Uh, but wait, wait, if we just knowing it doesn't solve it, right? Like, oh, we killed them. Well, uh, how is the dragon? How is Saku? Ba hmm. Basil uh, actually saw where they were on oh. the dragon. That there is kind of a rough patch. I yeah. think we should actually check it. What do you mean a out. rough patch? Would you like to see? Ooh, is it a, he looks over at the priestesses <laughs> and they're both like, Oops, sure, <laughs> I, yeah, I want to see so bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and so you get permission and he walks with you over. So does everybody? Yes. yes. Sort of yeah, I want to take a look yes. at this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We get to go close. So you can see and Ricky just goes, oh dear. Oh no. Oh, pleurosa fungus. I look at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know? Pleurosa fungus. fungus, of course, is very deadly to floral dragons, oh. but even worse, it corrupts them. Oh. Soon, the tendrils of these fungi will infect the entire body of this dragon. It will lose all consciousness, and it will most certainly attack the village and any surrounding villages in a catastrophe. We couldn't have that. Prickle has a crush on them. Oh. 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 Uh, perhaps, maybe. Mm. I don't know. Okay. We have to do something. What are you doing here in my business? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> really? I, just, I just wanted this to happen for you. I just wanted this to happen for you. Stop. Are you stop. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can we do? What can we do to stop that? Well, let's see. I do know a formula that actually uses fluorivore bile. And he what? holds up oh, the little thing. Oh. You just need another ingredient. As you have seen, fluorivores are able to transfer damage, but also also magical effects. If I had some very special Vespin honey, we could use the bile to transfer the health oh. into this dragon. Oh, that's Unfortunately, oh, we need indigo honey. Indigo uh, honey. Vespins will uh -huh. pollinate floral dragons, and if a Vespin has pollinated a wisteria dragon that has been corrupted, uh. it makes indigo honey. And, oh, oh, but that means it's a corrupted floral dragon. Correct. So it would probably do the thing that you said that this one's going to do. Which Correct. Is attack, you know, the village and all the rest everybody. of the villages surrounding it and see it's very Correct. bad. And I look oh. at the priestess, I'm like, and this is why we do a wellness check. <laughs> <laughs> but not just stay 20 feet away. And this is what happened before. What it's happened before? before? The arcane garden that we protect, and she now, oh you didn't notice God. before, but there, there's an amulet that she's sort of caressing, uh, and this amulet seems like it might go into an indentation on the back wall of this oh. cavern. Oh. I'm starting to think you don't protect anything too good. Yeah. <laughs> we had to deal with the corrupted wisteria dragon, and we couldn't defeat it. All we could do was lock it away. Oh. I'm sure that it is thriving oh. in the arcane garden, but we, we never open it. Oh. Saku, of course, was guarding it for us, too. But I suppose this is a special case. Let us add it. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let us in! Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. You gonna help? <laughs> All right. Jasmine? And she's yeah. like, uh, 
it's my turn. (laughs) She saunters over and sort of like respectfully bows at Saku as she walks past Saku to this back wall of the cavern. And you can indeed see an indentation that she puts this amulet into and turns. Glowing lines spread out from the, uh, the keyhole that it has made. And the rock that comprises the wall of the cavern seems to fold backwards. And you're assaulted again by another series of smells. But this is a damp, swamp-like, thick smell of dead plant life. Uh, it sort of hits you all at once. Oh. And Jasmine even tr- covers up her trunk. Like, oh, I hate oh, this part. I take a little vial of perfume and I'm like, here you go. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Uh, no problem. There are tons of perks to not breathing. <laughs> this is definitely one of them. Yes. Now listen, this is going to be extremely dangerous for all of you while I wait out here safely. Oh. Mm-hmm. You are going to locate the Vespin Hive and just steal a bit of the honey that you find there. It should be the indigo honey. Easy enough. Avoid the corrupted wisteria dragon. Just don't even talk to it. Oh, right. And maybe stay hidden. Right. Okay. You may get right. destroyed. Huh. Oh, pass without trace. <laughs> Oh! oh, thank you. Oh. Uh, that's going to be on everybody. Uh, you get a plus 10 bonus to your oh, dexterity. Oh, so nice. Is it enough for the dragons, too? I uh, think it's targets. six yeah, or eight. Masking you and your companions. Let me see how many that is. It's be eight. Why on the mobile version does it not say how many? It just says each creature you choose within 30 feet of you. Then, so, yeah, right? it's everybody. Eight. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> it says written. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so this passageway has opened before you. Mm -hmm. Um, Gloriosa and Jasmine are definitely staying behind, and you found out that Ricky is staying behind. Mm -hmm. So the four of you and your companions are sent on this quest inside this arcane garden to Mm -hmm. avoid the corrupted Mysteria dragon and the Vespins and steal some of that honey. Mm -hmm. It's a honey heist. Mm -hmm. Uh, In order to have your pass without trace, you do need to roll a stealth. Okay. Okay. Uh, to, To stealth, you must stealth. (laughs) Got it. <laughs> stealth do my stealth. Go yeah. figure. Also, bless is over. Uh, okay. Yeah, bless is over. I'll do it again. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got 30. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow. Oh, oh. I was going to say stealth. that will apply to um, to Spike as well since okay. you're mounted. Okay, great. We're rolling for the stealth. We're rolling for the stealth. 23. 23. Yeah. Mm. Mm, it's, it's uh, oh, I actually get disadvantage on this. Uh, you do. You were in heavy oh, armor, too. That's eight. Eight. Yeah. That's eight. eight. That's plus ten. That's oh, sorry, plus, plus eighteen. Or sorry, 18. it's eighteen. Yeah. Okay. It's an like, eighteen. Thank you. No. So sorry. <laughs> yeah. Math was not math. I didn't do the plus ten. <laughs> okay. Thirty-three. Or plus eight. Wow. Plus yeah. 10? Yeah. Plus Thirty-three. 10. Eighteen. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you Great. so much. So everybody is like perfectly stealthed at the moment. Mostly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm like, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. Still pretty Doing good. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> as far as you can tell, this corridor kind of goes down, but it's like enshrined by these like dead and rotting vines mm. that cover it. Um, it seems almost labyrinthine that mm. the, there is this layer that you're a part of. Mm. How you are now undetected, mm. and I can say successfully so. Yeah. How are you going about uh, locating what you need to locate? Uh, Let me see if I have anything. I've jumped on Basil's back. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. She's low on the ground. Yeah. And I go, yep. Mm-hmm. Which are soft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. I, I too am letting Rhodes lead with his nose. Mm-hmm. Rhodes' oh, nose. Oh, oh. Yeah, nose. Yeah. What are we looking for? Um, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the corrupted honey from Ooh. the Wisteria Dragon. Mm-hmm. I wonder what that smells like. I'm going to cast Guidance on, um, on Rhodes mm-hmm. mm. to help with his smell. Is that an advantage? It's a, a, yeah, it's, it's a, a, D4. a D4. It's a D4. So I'll actually have you roll for it. Go ahead and give me either Survival or Perception or even like Investigation if you want and then oh. add the D4. Amazing. Can it be mine or, or, or mm, how Rhodes? Are you, are you good. working in tandem and like passing Yeah, we're working together. Okay, okay. I'll allow it. So... Yeah, let's do. And if that. you're using uh, smelling or hearing, yes, you can get advantage on that. Great. Right. Mm. All right. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna take that. Thank goodness for that D4. Oh, oh. So that is gonna be a total of 18. 18. Yes. All right. I will say, within 18, Rhodes is able to sort of lock on to a sweet scent. Great. That's sort of what you get. He, uh-huh. He's not sure if it's what you're looking for, mm. but mm. it smells good. Mm. Uh, well, if that's the only uh, if that's the only trail that we have, then I suppose we should follow that. Let's go! And <laughs> <Whoa>. it's, <laughs> it takes off. <laughs> We're gonna go slow. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, uh, you what is? Pick up. I yes. just have a question. Yeah. You said it's the smell of like dead light, like greenery, plant yes. life. Uh, are is any of it dead plant creatures, or is it all just like natural plants? Good to mm. ask. I would say, who's are you doing it with your per- nose in perception, or is this spike? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I would say a lot of the things that we do, we do in kind of like tandem. We sure, do together. And if I'm on, yeah, if I'm on his back, I think I'm using my like medicinal knowledge. Yeah. Like she's very well versed in like life and mm. death. Uh, and we're using spikes more of like nose for tracking. Yeah, things. that the beak that it has sort of like. Yeah. Yes. Yes, these have been consumed by something. At once it may have been a creature, maybe, but something is feasting on them in here. Mm. Something evil. Mm. And if Spike is saying that, Mm. that says something. (laughs) All right, right, let's catch up. (laughs) Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so you're making your way through. I'm gonna allow the stealth check that you did in the beginning. That's for the Pass Without Trace. How long does that last? Past that trace and is, is it a concentration? Uh, let me I tell you, it... all of those answers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, a pass without trace is a concentration okay. spell, and it's an hour. An hour. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, as long as you're concentrating on it, uh, you all have pass without trace. Okay. And I, are you all following Rhodes' lead, who seems to have locked on yeah. to ascent? No. Okay. What is <laughs> Estelle and, uh, and Basil doing? Divide and conquer. Uh, we're kind of trying to find an edge. If there's an edge. Yeah, the first corridor that you go yeah. through outside of the cavern sort of opens up, and you can see now this is sort of like a hidden valley ranch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is nice. wow. a, a, like a far off sort of sunlight where okay. uh, like a single shaft of sunlight is beaming down into this place, but it's pretty dark and dank sort okay. of thing. Hmm. Yeah, we're just holding our nose on the edge, yeah. trying to find any foliage, if there is any she can hide in. Go ahead and make a s- nature check for me, or survival, Ooh. or <laughs> stealth. I'm like, you are hidden. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're already hidden. This applies to dragon as well. You yeah, guys yeah. are so hidden. 19. For which one are you? What, stealth, stat? sorry. Stat? Okay, <laughs> so yeah, you are very much hidden, and not only from like whatever may be out there, from your companions as well. Mm-hmm. They've totally lost sight of you. Ooh. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so w- are we following Rhodes' lead otherwise then? I, I, I'm on Rhodes, so I don't yeah. have a choice. <laughs> Rhodes, uh, <laughs> He's really leading you. Yeah. <laughs> Rhodes bounds forward, and then all of a sudden you feel it, like from like the legs that you're on him with, that uh-huh. there is a tension in his muscles. He's oh. like, <laughs> danger! What? Oh. And he looks over. And he's like, Azaleas, Azaleas. <gasps> no. And you know that there are a few dog-like dragons, yes. rhododendrons, yeah, who have become friendly with humanoids, mm. and azaleas who have like not. Ooh, they boy. roam in packs and are pretty vicious. So you can, you're sort of steered away from them because yes. Rhodes has detected, and you're all passed without trace still. Okay. Thank goodness. Uh, really carefully, I'll signal back to the to the group to you know eyes. <laughs> you know, all that I stuff. I picked up on that. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense to me. I just, in your head, go, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, that, um, yes, azaleas. Azalea, a, a pack of azalea dragons Ooh. up ahead. Yeah. They haven't noticed us. Uh, is that the way that we need to go? Is that the way that we need to go? It doesn't seem like the sweet mm-hmm. smell is coming from that direction. Mm-hmm. No, but uh, uh, just a heads up to be careful. Um, but we're going this way, and I'm gonna let Rhodes take us uh, where the sweet smell is. Yeah, yeah. So, following along, are you keeping an eye on them? I am, I'm okay. taking note of them. Yeah. You Just don't know if I've seen anything else. You're also able to sort of climb up. There are uh, trees that are in here, and it's sort of like Weeping Willow style, mm. where they're just sort of foliage it's so perfect that hangs for her. over. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> you blend right in. You're able to get sort of this bird's eye view, and you can spot the pack of like white and pink and green azalea dragons that they they don't seem to have noticed anyone else. Okay, They're good. minding their own business, but they look pretty tough anyway. Mm. Mm. So following along uh, Rhodes' trail, he leads you over to, uh, it seems like this elaborate honeycomb. It is above ground and it does seem to be in this like hex shape. 
and crystalline in nature. You can see inside of it, there are Vespins that seem to be crawling around in and out of small holes in here. This is the main hive of it. Uh, and you can see uh, not only the Vespins themselves, they are normal, the yellow color, but the goo that they're sort of shepherding around is a deep indigo, hmm. a dark, dark purple blue. Hmm. Uh, and this might be what you need. I'm gonna wait for the rest of the group to catch up. Only these two seem to, as far as you know. Oh. We were, and we would be following pretty closely. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, know, I know that the two of us were, for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, there is are. a strong buzzing sound as well coming from the inside of this hive. Oh boy. Okay. What is the thing we're looking for? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, but right? It is, but do, do, what do any of you know of the nature of these, uh, these Vespins? Yeah. Can I do uh, like an arcana or uh, maybe a like nature or survival? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Let me see what I have here. Um, I have. I could do survival. I could do. I'd love to not do nature, <laughs> <laughs> but I could. Do, whichever it works. Yeah. So I'm gonna you'll do, get different information based yeah, off. Yeah. I'm gonna do use. survival. Okay. Nice. Um. Okay. That's a natural twenty. Amazing. Nice. Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> Really good at staying alive. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, except yeah. that one time. Yeah, well, being alive after that one time. Yeah. Technically, yeah. Okay. the second time. The second yeah. time, crushing it. Crushing it. <laughs> uh, so, a bunch of information sort of clicks into your brain. Mm-hmm. You know that Vespins aren't necessarily that dangerous until yeah. you get into swarms of Vespins. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. They don't sting, but they bite. And it sounds uh, like a swarm. Oh. There yeah. is a swarm. What mm-hmm. you also oh. realize is that there might be a Vespin queen hidden in there as well. Oh, no. That Whoa. could be pretty dangerous. And if I know anything about royal families. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You don't mess with the queen. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Now, from this information, and I'm also willing to utilize, I have uh, as a reborn knowledge from a past life, which yes. means I can add, a, it, it like mechanically means I can add an additional d6. I got an at 20, I'm happy to add it, but like burn the thing of it. Sure, okay. Because I'd love to know as well if I have any familiarity with, uh, do these have a language that they speak in any capacity? So mm. it's interesting that you ask that because, it, especially with your telepathic abilities, mm-hmm. you notice that they they have something similar. Huh. Uh, the queen, you know, has a royal command, uh-huh. can use a bonus action to command the swarm. So wow. they all listen to the queen and they yeah. will act as one. So while they don't necessarily have a language, they can communicate with each other and sort of act as a hive. Hmm. Okay, cool. Noted. And can we see the queen or just hear it right you now? You can't see the queen. No point. You just hear, and uh, you also can, with that natural 20, you know that the buzz from a queen's uh, wings mm-hmm. can deafen people. And oh. It can be, it can be pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I think I like tear off a piece from my robe looking at everybody and kind of like shove pieces in my ears a little bit. Mm. And uh, in telepath- telepathically in everyone's brain, I'm like, we can still hear each other. Uh, but okay. protect my ears. Great. And just encourage anybody to do the same. Um, I'm gonna does that ask... reach me? Ooh. How far does your telepathy go, and oh. how close are you getting? Yeah, I don't know how far you are. True. Well, where is it in like this? So yeah. where you saw the Azalea Dragon mm-hmm. Pack, there yeah. it's like the opposite direction. So you could maneuver same. your way over. to I them. will maneuver my yeah, way. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'll stay up in a tree. Yes, you are <laughs> yeah, yeah. successfully hidden. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I I'm only up to twenty feet, so uh, you'd have to be pretty close to hear it. Uh, but yeah, but I'm yes. visibly doing this thing. Yep, yep. Is anybody else blocking their ears? I think I will. Yeah, I'll go to Prickle and, and ask if you have any like. Uh, do you have any anything for that? Oh, what about this lovely blossom? <laughs> oh, and it thank like you. pulls its tail around oh, to you. Oh, such a sweetheart! And I take like little petals and I kind of like put them in like little ear, yeah, plugs. Perfect. Thank you. That's so cute. Um, jeez, I think <laughs> I am, but I, I, I mean, we, we we've come here to ask them for something that belongs to them. I mean. Is it fair to assume that maybe they'll be willing to... Negotiate? Right. Perhaps. And they, they seem to have a, 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 a relationship to, to all of the floral dragons, not just the corrupted wisteria one. Quite. It's, their, it's in their best interest to for the cherry blossom dragon to survive. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, Norris. Is there any way we can communicate with them? Um... Oh, if I had chosen different spells, I'd be able to. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I can speak with animals. Yes. I can also communicate telepathically with anything that I can see within 20 feet. So telepathic mm-hmm. would probably be the the way to go. The way to yeah. go on mm-hmm. that, but I do have to be able to see them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The the um, 
shell on the exterior of the hive is sort of see-through, so you can see the activity. You mm. haven't been able to spot the queen, but okay. you can see the other Vespans. So you guys want to like, give me a message and I'll... Yes. Okay. Sure. Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, um, I'm, so yeah, I'm gonna you cast... are like the really like... You know how to so speak to When royalty. you talk, it's like, oh my god, it's beautiful and so oh, nice and everybody wants to do what you say. You do not sell yourself short. You are quite charming in your own right. <laughs> <laughs> I am spoken for, darling. Oh, no, of course. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't uh, No, it's quite I nice. Lied. I lied. <laughs> I got it. It's all right. I could tell. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. 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 I know. I'm not good at lying. It's not one of, it's not one of my skills. Uh, uh, I will cast Sanctuary on you. And oh. am I giving you the message to say to them? Yeah. Great. I can communicate telepathically, but I can't Great. literally mm. pass on a message. Mm. Um, all right. Well, and how? And the message is it's a certain amount of words, correct? No, because it's not the message spell. It's oh. communicating telepathically. Oh, so I can just chat. Okay, great. All yes, right. But we don't. We don't. We don't want her to just chat. She <laughs> needs help. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but I'm in the street, and I yes. open my sack of nuts, and I'm waiting for them to do something. I'm yeah, yeah. feeding basil. I'm feeding myself. Nice. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, your well, favorite. <laughs> perhaps there is a formal greeting. So okay. perhaps you would say. Um, Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Majesty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I'll uh, start there. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh, um, have, have they, have they, do you know if they've noticed us yet? Have they? Have they, they have not. They have okay. not. Well, we're still stealthy. Even yeah, if I yes. communicate to them telepathically, it does not reveal our location. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's telepathic, and that's right. why we're doing it in the brain. Great. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to turn uh, towards the hive, even yeah. though they can't see me. I'm still like, okay. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Excellent. <laughs> you hear that the Vespans are like communicating within themselves and they're like, am I your highness? You're your highness. We're your highness? Who's the highness? <laughs> What's happening? They don't know which one is your highness. I don't think that's a term they use. We ask to speak oh. to their queen, to their mother. Permission to speak to the mother. Permission to speak to the mother. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> And then, weirdly, you all hear silence coming from this hive, as if all of the Vespans have quieted down, and now you can't see them. They've moved inside. Oh, that's concerning. Something's uh -oh. happening. Uh -oh. Um, uh, -oh. The, uh In preparation for whatever I cannot predict, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm turning to Rhodes, and mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm just, hey, hey, little buddy, um, do you mind if I take uh, some of, uh, can, I, can I just have one of your couple of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I shed uh, all the time. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pluck a couple of flowers that are yeah, basically yeah. his mane. Oh, uh, not that one. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> just messing with you. <laughs> 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 um, uh, and so I, I just kind of have a bundle of them, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm just have them in my hands ready mm. for something. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I've taken note that they all put something in their ears. Right. So yeah. I just dump all the nuts and I wrap, I wrap, I rip this sack of, yeah. and I just shove in my ears, oh my I shove gosh. in Basil's ears. Perfect, yes. I don't know if Basil needs them, but I'm like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ear holes. <laughs> yeah. 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 I did the same so, first fight. Good call. So as you're waiting and the silence grows, all of a sudden you hear a tiny getting louder and louder and then emerging out of the hive you see a large Vespin it pu puts its paws over the top of it and stands oh there gosh. seems to be a crown wow. made of like a purple honey that sits on top of it uh, and it sort of folds its legs in front of it mommy <laughs> <laughs> you called mother uh, right right uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Who dare uh, asks for a royal engagement? Ask um, the uh, guardians of Saku, the cherry blossom dragon. Okay, uh, I don't think I can remember all those words. <laughs> guardians of Saku, the, the cherry, the cherry blossom, blossom dragon. dragon. We do not concern ourselves with Saku, but so we true. have all of the blossoms we could ever need right here. Um, yeah. They're all the same kind of flowers, though, aren't they? Mm. Are you talking are to all... the queen? Or are you well, what I'm observing. Mm. It's all the wisteria. Mm. Yeah, or is there the... other blossoms here? There are like... other blossoms, but it oh. seems like they specialize in like finding this wisteria dragon, mm. taking the, the um, nectar from it. Well, Perhaps yeah. we could offer a prize. A cherry blossom from the cherry blossom dragon. A queen loves a gift. Okay, uh, 
we have a gift to offer yes. in exchange for a bit of honey. A bit of my royal honey? I use that for my food. <laughs> I'm very hungry. <laughs> Yeah, no, that that makes sense. We only need like a, a little, a little bit. We only need a little bit, a little and bit. we offer to you a cherry blossom mm. from the cherry blossom from dragon. the cherry blossom dragon Maybe itself. From other dragons, as I look at the <laughs> other dragons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think they want it. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. I don't want this. <laughs> a persuasion with advantage. I'm gonna okay, okay, okay. okay. I will also cast bless again. Okay. Perfect. So you can add a d4 if you like. Okay, I certainly would. Mm -hmm. We gotta go all the way for this because I am not persuasive. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. You cast guidance. guidance. I did cast guidance as well. Yes. Can I also have guidance? And guidance is. Uh, guidance is the one that helps the checks. Uh, yeah, so bless would be if it's a saving throw oh, okay. or an attack, so, the, so the that would be... The d4 does not apply, mm -hmm. then what is your guidance die? The guidance is, d4. let's see, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a d4. But yeah. emboldening oh, bond does stack with guidance. Emboldening bond does stack with guidance, <laughs> you're right. Oh my god. Because uh, I have emboldening bond, uh -huh. which is as an action, if you, would you identify yourself as a willing creature? Very. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I create a magical bond for 10 minutes, um, you, uh, da, 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 you can roll another d4 and add it to an attack roll under bit Thank you so much. I got you. Baby. Thank I clear you. it all the time. So my <laughs> okay, both of my d4s were ones, but that does get us up Ooh. to a 16. Oh! That's a threshold. Very well. Oh, a 17. I, I, oh, I was, well, I was then I'm convinced. <laughs> 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 that changes everything. Yeah. How much do you require? Because Just like a, 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 a smidge. Like a, like a smidge? Mm. Two smidges? Two smidges. Two smidges. To be Two smidges. Tops. You may partake. <gasps> Clear the way, boys! <laughs> you see Vespin's coming out with a little dish uh, that they bring, and in that dish, it seems to be made of wax itself, oh, but it is a the little uh, amount of uh -huh. the indigo honey. Wow. And two come out with it on oh, their backs. Oh, it's adorable. You have got to teach me your words, magic lady. Yeah. Well, you just learned some of them. <laughs> that was awesome, okay. And then you bow and thank and well we have to give we have to give the honey to get the petal uh, uh can i can i try to grab it before they yeah. realize that i'm yes. gonna try and grab that honey you you can yeah, yeah, yeah. are you like quickly grabbing it because they're not making any resistance i'm still they're giving I mean, it have to we you. revealed ourselves actually no i'm oh. trying to get that honey before they realize we don't have the cherry blossom. okay so uh before you say like we're gonna give it to you i'm just like uh-huh 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 uh -huh. you're betraying the best <gasps> we will bring back oh, them but we don't have it with us okay. oh my god i'm gonna even though you still have passed without trace on uh -huh. i'm gonna have you make an oh, extra man. stealth roll with advantage That's to fair. see if you can get this thing without them noticing you you have oh. blessed and then bless. guidance, okay. and then the do I, Does my pass without trace still apply to it, or probably That's only activate once? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh um, okay, so base we have a fourteen. <laughs> okay, my mm -hmm. dice have been deeply unkind. Mm -hmm. to I don't like that for you. Uh, I believe bless is only going to activate. Once, right? Because I for, well, I couldn't have used it on the last one, but that's for checks. Yeah, yeah. Like blesses check. for attacks and saving throws. Yeah. Guidance and emboldening bond will each give you a d4. Another d4. Uh, emboldening bond is persisting. It's for Once ten per minutes. Turn, yeah, and okay. guidance is burned if you haven't cast it. Okay, fair. Okay. Yeah. I believe you. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so we were at 14, 15, 16, 17? 17, just enough. Okay. <gasps> All right. Yeah. Ooh. You yank the honey, and the 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 queen is still waiting. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Bzz. Uh, are you are you are you starting to leave book it? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't leave without you guys, but I would let you know telepathically. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I've got the honey. We don't have a cherry blossom. I'm gonna take oh, no! the flowers that I have, and I'm just gonna throw them in the air. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yes. Modify so okay. whoever's been emboldened Ooh. is still gets to use. Oh, that. Oh, one. oh yes, what you get to use three people. Uh, three people. So you guys all get it. A D four. The one a D four. Okay. Just one of them, D4. right? No. Uh oh. I yeah. Guys, I didn't make it. I didn't make it either. Oh, oh wait. Ten. Yeah, I didn't make it. What's the DC? Did you tell uh, we don't know yet. Nah. Oh, right. I got a 24. Okay. Um, Great. I got just a straight dexterity. Uh, I got a 14. Okay. I got a 5. Okay. I got an 8. An eight. <laughs> okay. Is uh, oh, wait. I sorry. I got a 12. 12. 12. 12? I forgot okay. about the d4. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I don't get one, so I just 5. <laughs> Is there anything <laughs> I can do with a 24 to help them uh, any kind of distraction? Um, yeah. Mm. I'm willing to throw down some spells to try and cast more distractions, <gasps> sure. or I could do something that is just like trying to help them move faster. I'll say if you cast a distraction, you will get advantage <gasps> and you get to roll again. Oh my okay. god! Uh, I have okay. a backup plan if that doesn't work. Okay, okay. so, so I'm gonna quickly, just roll again. What are you distracting and then roll. Okay, great. Uh, I would like to use uh, Animate the Dead, and I would like <gasps> to try and bring up some of these <gasps> dead plants. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Yes. I checked on the way you in. You certainly can. Yes. I just checked on the way that in. That is a 50. Yes. Yes. Yay. Thank you. So, uh, all of you are managed nice. to quickly turn around and maneuver your way out. Pair on, are you on Prickle? Or I, I'm like, next to Prickle. Next I can't Prickle. ride Prickle. Right, right. Yeah. So that is the issue. Prickle yeah. gets caught. No, and Prickle. You get far no. behind <laughs> too. Uh, and suddenly, yeah. this distraction, these animated <gasps> plant-like <gasps> dead things come out and they start swiping at the swarm of Vespa. Wow. Wow. Distraction is. Nice. We actually haven't revealed who it was that was speaking. They could so be them. I am animating them behind yeah. us so that they think that is the target. So they're just the in a disembodied that, voice. Right. Oh, yes, and it works swimmingly. Thank oh you. You're able to maneuver your way out. It was a DT, DC 10, so you almost Ooh. didn't make it. Uh, oh my god! You managed to like whiz your way through the cavern again, back out to where you were, uh, and just as the mm. walls of the cavern close in again, you hear a. <gasps> it is as if the corrupted Listeria dragon had been awoken. Uh. But luckily, it echoes as they wham! Wow. Slam the door <laughs> shut to this chamber. Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, <laughs> Ricky's like, the wall. How'd you do? Well, oh. Where I'm like, what? What you said? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is yeah. perfect, exactly what I need. And he takes the honey mm -hmm. from you and he just pours it directly into the vial with the vial uh, and sort of shakes it up a little bit. And just a little magic essence. Mm. There is a spell that's being, that was great to have. Uh, and then he pours it over the fungal infection on Tosaku. And you can see the effects almost immediately as it starts to, with the um, fluorivore bile, eat away at the fungus and wow. stuff like that. And then the purple, the indigo energy of this wisteria honey sort of transfers it and begins knitting the flesh back together. And the mushrooms fall harmlessly to the floor, which Ricky, of course, collects and Whoa. puts away wow. safely. Whoa. Uh, Saku herself starts to rise. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, I feel so much better now. Who are you? And she like, looks yeah. at Prickle. Prickle? Well, aren't you going to introduce yourself to the lovely Oh, lady? I could Oh, you could! Oh, she's so much bigger oh, than me. Isn't that, so isn't that fun? No. Isn't that fun? Saku, this is Prickle. I am Prickle. Prickle, she's a succulent dragon. Are you my uh, savior, Prickle? She is. I'm oh. covering Rhodes' eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I shall sing of your deeds every year at the festival. You all have saved me, and I thank you. And you each get a very special blessing, a blessing of the cherry blossom dragon, oh. which you can use in your next adventure Ooh. featuring floral dragon. Yeah. 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 Hit point press. Yeah. <laughs> definitely check out the field guide to floral dragons. The Kickstarter is going gangbusters right now. Uh, definitely check it out to take advantage of all of the perks that you can uh, you can because the art is incredible. It's so pretty. It's all through so Ken Wald who has made this this incredible art that you've seen throughout the series. There are stickers, there are art books, there are uh, like uh, like special covers for this thing. Uh, it's so pretty. It's so the pretty. The dice, the dice are, the dice are so pretty. Mm -hmm. They're the most pretty dice I've ever seen. 
Yes, oh. but thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Xander. You saved thank Mushi you. Village. Woo! Yes. And most importantly, my reputation. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go around the table one more time and say who we've been and where people can find you. Ooh. Hello. Uh, you find me here most of the time. I'm Sage Ryan. I go by Not Sage everywhere on the internet. And I have been Amanita. You're uh, once killed by her dragon and now just <laughs> doing her best yeah. to impress him. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Too impressive. Was he impressed? <laughs> oh, I love to know it's that. It's okay. Uh, That's I'm Kendall Lynn. You can find me at Kendall Lynn, making theme park content. Woo! Nice. Woo! <laughs> and I was playing Estelle and the ever so loving Basil the Dragon. Aww. Uh, I've been Mayana Baron. I played Percasia, a very fancy cleric. You can find me at uh, Mayana Baron on Instagram or BE Mayana on Twitter. And keep an eye out for Story Quest and the Wandering Path on my Ooh, Twitter. Oh, yes. What's that? You will find out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Luis Carrazzo, and I was an Aris. Uh, and uh, my really awesome rhododendron dra dragon, uh, uh, Rhodes, which now I want one. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they're gonna you have like have plushies. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Are you listening hit point yeah, plus? We plushies. love plushies. Give me plushies. plushies. <laughs> uh, and you can find me, first name, last name, put that together, you'll find me on, on all the internet stuff. Luis Carrazzo. And you'll see all the different things that I have going on. Uh, but now I just want to know all about this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Xander! And, yay. and I have been your dungeon master this evening, Xander Genre. You can find me everywhere at Xanderific with two R's and one F. Uh, if you were interested in some of the NPCs that they got to interact with, we actually created those on my weekly creative co-working stream. So some of you in chat may have contributed to the cook, Daisy Fondue, oh. uh, to some of the bar patrons, including Bubbles, who always had his head in the soup uh, and the Minotaur Carnation because what incarnation? Oh, that's good. Oh, I and that. I recognize Ricky. Yes. You played Ricky on the channel. Yes, oh. I have. Yeah. We got to do an adventure with Ricky. Oh, Ricky Huckster is one of my favorites. You oh, like my you. Yeah. If you want to see more Ricky adventures, you can check it out here on Pixel Circus or on Relics and Rarities, which is up on YouTube. Uh, but thank you so much, and thank you once again to Hit Point Press for sponsoring this episode. Uh, we had so much fun doing this one shot. Thank you for joining me, and thank you at home for uh, gardening with us. <laughs> uh, and hopefully you'll get to have your own adventures with these amazing floral dragons. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh, I'm out. Woo! Oh, I want, I really want one. You did it.